What's up, guys? Button mod 14. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, not too much going on today here. Um, I'm going to check some stuff out as far as my stream goes. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of chilling. You know what I mean? Feeling like a villain. Um, <clears throat> what do we have playing in this stream? Mm, not much, really. Um, let me start by muting this. That way I can unplug this, actually. So, there we go. So, there we go. Um, I think other than that, I will, uh, <laughs> morning, Hannah. Um, let's see. I do need to lower some volume controls. So, let's go here. And, um, then let's go, um, here. And, Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. Hope your day is going pretty good. Uh. Let's see. I need to. Um, I think I need to. This. So. All right. Before I start, go over and say hi to Iga. She's. Uh. Yeah. <clears throat> let's go say hi to Iga. Here we go. We and I go stream for a second here. There we go. And there we go. And then I'll go here. Um, I can also do the usual stuff where I uh just send out the fact that I'm live. Um, sure, yeah, <laughs> I can take care of that. So we tweet, 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 tweet it out. Um, and yeah, we go from there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And go to. Um, there, um, also, did not, no, hang on, hang on, no. um, um, oh, no, I need to, yeah, that is what I did, isn't it, uh, okay, uh, let's go to my, But uh, yeah, in general, hope you guys are doing pretty good. Uh, as far as my YouTube channel, which uh, <laughs> so weird, uh, I can't tell you how many uh, streams where I just start. I'm just like, oh yeah, by the way, today on the YouTube channel, blah 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 blah. You know, but I mean, I, it kind of is a good thing that uh, that's the first thing I start with. What's the plan, Chief? Hey, hey, KCS. Good morning. Hope you're having a an kickass day. Um, what's the plan? Honestly, I don't. <laughs> I it's it's almost times like this where I want to ask you for a plan. Sleep, sir. This is a Wendy's, and what is sleep? Okay. <laughs> I had a nice nap. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, let's leave it up to you guys. Um, yeah, I mean, you guys are here in chat, so here are the options, right? Um. <laughs> or um I also need to play this so um or <laughs> yeah let's leave it up to you guys so here are the options right I need to do some stuff for YouTube on Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy also just Master Duel is just fun so Master Duel uh, I would guess viewer duels, probably. Viewer duels. Yeah, so those are the options. Um, I guess, you know, yeah, A, B, C, or D, guys. <laughs> and if you don't have an opinion, then I'm going to choose. And the game I choose is, mm -hmm, might be something you guys don't really want to watch. So, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, let's make a poll here, yeah. I mean, I guess I could make a poll, yeah. Uh, I've never really made one of these, but, um, uh, poll. Hmm, no way. Huh, there's not a slash command for a poll, but, um, straw poll. Hmm, let's see, there is a lot of commands here with the slash. I'm sure there is a way to make a poll, but, um, hmm, maybe I should look on here. I may actually need to know it for the future, but you know what I'll do? I'll ask Iga, because at, at some point, uh, Iga will probably swing by chat, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, I actually don't know how to make a, I'm sure there's an easy way to figure it out, how to make one, because uh, people do it all the time. But, uh, yeah, uh, the poll will be open for, how many minutes we got here? Until, yeah, for five minutes, and if I don't get <laughs> duck, duck, <laughs> sir, sir, you be cracking me up, man, like, for real. <laughs> oh, man. Um, duck. Oh, speaking of duck. Duck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's uh, really random. By the way, th this duck is named, uh, well, let me get it more in frame. So. All right, there's the duck. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. It's well, it's even more out of frame. Oh, hang on. Hang on, duck. Duck. There we go. Uh, yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> That's a mother ducker if I've ever seen one. Cap. <laughs> yeah, the duck is named uh, Plucky officially or something. I don't know. But uh, also, also, I just realized something. Let's take this down. There we go. <laughs> Reveal more cards. <laughs> there we go. There's more. There's more chat. There's more packs. There we go. Yeah, that looks better, honestly. Yeah, it kind of does. Yeah. So. Alrighty. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to sit here and chat and chill with you guys um i know a couple of you play master duel um number one here's the question how are your duels going and number two what new decks have you tried lately so anyway yeah i was talking about my youtube channel so here's the deal guys i've got some bad news for the youtube channel okay first of all who here on twitch subscribes to the youtube channel raise your hand no one good okay so anyway uh <laughs> That's such a funny joke. Uh, for those of you who don't, <laughs> go here and subscribe, first of all. And second of all, thank you. And third of all, I've got some bad news. Sir? Okay, thank you, sir. First of all, thank you. I appreciate you. You're awesome. Um, sir, did you just subscribe just because of Naruto Ninja Storm 2? You know, the Let's Play I've been doing. Because if so, I got some bad news for you. Really bad. Like, like really, really bad news. So. In fact, to explain my bad news, visual evidence is always the... Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go, guys. Here we go. 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 As always, visual evidence is the best evidence. So, check this out, guys. Check this out. This is the phone I use to record all my Let's Plays. All, you know, all my, yeah, all my YouTube stuff. So, yeah, yeah, this is the phone. And, yeah, <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah, I do have one of those back there. <laughs> no, but anyway. So, this is the phone I use to record everything. Like, everything on YouTube. Because you guys have seen some of the behind the scenes. I'll, like, pull in the ice cream maker. uh, Put the value cube on. And have this, like, right behind it. Now, check this out. I'm going to try to log into this phone. Right? In order to log in, you have to slide the screen up. Right? Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. 
Because this alarm was just going off. Look. Yeah, you guys hear that? Like, the flashlight's on, clearly, because I'm blinding you guys, right? See that? Flashlight's on. Okay. So, clearly, the phone works. But now, look at this. Look at this. Nothing. There's, like, just no... So, clearly, the phone has power. But... Yeah, like, if I try to log in, or just, like, swipe the screen up, there's literally no response from the screen. So, also, 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 you know how Naruto Ninja Storm 2, well, if you guys don't know, Naruto Ninja Storm 2 does what we call auto-saving. Right, sir? Like, I, I think sir's with me here. Sir, you're with me. So, Naruto Ninja Storm 2 always auto-saves. There's no way to stop it. There's no way to... <sighs> so, Naruto Ninja Storm 2 is officially on hiatus from YouTube. And here's why. Here's why. I had four episodes, four, of Naruto Ninja Storm 2. And I didn't transfer them to my computer like I usually do. Like, right, usually I'll transfer them... Right away, because I'll stick the cable, yeah, to my computer and just transfer, and then you know, transfer, delete, upload. We move on, right? That's that's usually what I do. I usually do it right away, right at the end of the recording session. But I was just like, eh, you know, I'll go play ball with Diego and just kind of, or and everybody else, and then um, oh yeah, and then there was a pizza party that night. So that's really what distract. Anyway, anyway, and I I didn't even do anything bad. Like this phone didn't get like dropped in water. It didn't like. It just, it just kind of like magically just, and like literally this was two days ago. <laughs> Not even two days ago. Yeah, I could just swipe it up and then put in my, put in my password, you know, and then work perfectly fine. So, and like, I don't know if it was the red line glitch. So in an upcoming session of Duelist of the Roses, right? No, well, no, no, it's just like, sir, like, it wasn't even... Okay, to be fair, to be fair, sir, in an upcoming session of Duel of the Roses, like, there were, like, red lines on the phone, but what's weird is, like, I was able to log in fine. The red lines didn't show up on the video, and, yeah, <laughs> like, after the red lines, I recorded at least, at least, sir, at least 200 videos, and I just, yeah, I just transferred them to my computer. Business as usual. So, I guess the red lines, like, and they were really weird. I probably should have shown them. But, yeah, the red lines were kind of like, I guess they were like a warning. But, like, it's so weird because, like, despite the red lines being there, it could record fine, audio was fine, video was fine. And I was just like, oh, okay. It's just on my end. Like, the red lines on the screen were just on me. Only on my end. So, I guess my phone kind of was trying to say, oh, hey, something's wrong. You might want to. But that sucks. <laughs> so, here's the problem. Here's the problem. Like I said, I recorded four episodes of Ninja Storm 2. It autosaves. You can't go back. So, long story short, we're going to have to have, and this sucks too, because Ninja Storm was going so well. We're basically going to have to have, once I buy a new phone, uh, well, not necessarily a new one. As long as it records at the same quality as this one, which this one recorded at, uh, I think, um, yeah, this isn't even like the newest iPhone or anything. It's just like a, basically, I'm going to look up the camera quality of this phone. And as long as it is similar, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be the exact same phone. I probably will buy the exact same phone just for convenience because <laughs> I know everything about how to use this phone and I already have a charger and I kind of like the functionality. So other than that, um, what sucks is I can't reverse time. <laughs> what model is it? I don't know. I mean, this is what it looks like. I mean, I don't know if you can tell from this, sir, but... Anyway, the box is over there. I don't, I, I don't really care. But like, um, it's a, just a T-Mobile POS. I don't know. 
But uh, <laughs> um, no, no, no. Seriously, I think it's a Rev Four. No, don't quote me on that. I don't. I don't. I don't know phone models. <laughs> phone models are like car models. You know, there's only so much information I can store up here in this brain. And some of it's not even remotely worth retaining. Examples. Car models. Home models. Phone models. Motorcycle models. Airplane models. You know, oh, yeah. Kim Kardashian models. Okay. So we've covered that. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, sir. I'm just a little... I'm not, I'm not taking it out on you. It's just... Anyway. So the point is... <laughs> That yu gi -Man cards, no issue, kek. <laughs> yeah, true. But, yeah, guys, this... Okay, for all of you... And it's so funny, right, sir? Because several of my YouTube subscribers... I've noticed the numbers are pretty arbitrary on... The VODs, the Twitch VODs. But let me just say, if you're a YouTube subscriber of mine... And you don't watch the Twitch VODs... This might be the most important Twitch VOD you can watch. Because I'm literally... Here's what I'm going to do, sir. I'm not going to post any update on Naruto Ninja Storm 2. Like, the playlist? Yeah, the playlist on YouTube. I'm literally not going to say anything. And I guess that's kind of mean. But what I'm doing is effectively I'm saying... Okay, this is like... Despite it being a bad thing... It's basically an opportunity for me to say... Okay, who's really checking out the... Uh, the uh, Twitch VODs over there on my YouTube channel. Because if if you do check out the Twitch VODs, you'll be like, oh, okay, hey, Naruto was my favorite. Sorry, you know, you might comment down below, like, hey, sorry to hear that. Um, just let me know when it's back. But if you if you comment on Naruto, like Ninja Storm, if you comment on the playlist and just be like, yo, dog, yo, diggity dog, where my new Naruto at? I, I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you as a subscriber on my YouTube channel. I'm going to link this stream, and it's about to be an eight-hour stream. So, good luck finding the clip, because I'm not going to queue up the uh, exact tab, e the exact timestamp either. I'm just going to say it, and we're going to talk about it, like all stream. But this is going to be a really salty stream, because like, this literally happened first thing this morning. So, for those of you who like Salty Flood, or Salty Josh, or just me to be mad, get ready. You're going to get some good content. All right, so with that all being out of the way, let's uh, let's see. No one voted, right, sir? Uh, sir, did anyone vote? I don't think so. That just means, sir, that I get to vote, as I said uh, 15 minutes ago. And here's what I vote. We don't play Master Duel. <laughs> so now that you've all left the stream... Well, wait, wait, let me give you five sec. Let me give you 50 seconds for the delay to sink in. Okay, now that you've left the stream, here's what we're really going to do. Ready? We're going to play this game. Because if I if we don't, my saltiness might like spiral out of control. So, all right. Here we go. All right. And here we go. But yeah, yeah. Naruto Ninja Storm update. In fact, honestly, like, I realized I could have been doing gameplay while doing that. But I'm honestly glad I did it while just chatting because that way you guys can see like, hey, the visual evidence. Like literally I showed the, yeah, that, that's literally the phone and literally like you could see the flashlight. So it clearly still has power. But uh, yeah, <laughs> anyway, uh, sorry. You know what? Let me let me make an actual an apology. I'm sorry, Naruto fans. The universe hates you. Okay. <laughs> oh man what's funny about this is like yeah the analytics were showing good numbers from Naruto but honestly I was kind of ready to take a Naruto break anyway. 
and what I mean by that is like, you know, because if you record a recording session of like four videos, right? You can spread those videos out over a period of a month or however long you want to. So that's literally what I was going to do with this recording session. And like what sucks is like, man, the recording session went so well. It was just really, really funny. And all we did. OK, so the first two was the cursed doll stuff. And the next two was like uh, actual mission stuff, because like we were at the part where you know, they've rescued Gara and Yabba Dabba Doo, and you just move on to the Tenchi Bridge Art. And so, Orochi <laughs> Mario kept saying some of these lines in the story, and it was just really funny. But, like, I was doing the voices of him. I was, like, kind of mocking him almost, and it was just funny. Also, also, uh, <laughs> I kept quoting uh, uh, Lord Sosori, you know, from that uh, poison fight he had with Sakura, you know. Once my poison seeps in, it's <laughs> So yeah, yeah, missed a bunch of quotes with that that were like perfectly timed, but um, other than that, you know, and I also did make some um Itachi quotes too, like from this game. <laughs> so, um, it it was just really fun. That's the one thing I will say is, despite losing the footage. Now, obviously, guys, like on a serious note, on a serious note, let me be serious. I'm gonna do everything I can to recover the footage, but uh, not looking good. Not looking good, guys. Um, you know, not looking good. So, yeah. So, oh man, that is unfortunate. So, hey, but things happen, man. It's it's all good. It's all good. So, all right. Um, something else I could do this morning is say f master duel and just play some chess but you know what not everybody likes chess you know i'm i do have to realize my audience and primarily i'm a yugi tuber yugi tuber quote unquote so despite not wanting to play master duel even for one second i should probably just pony up and uh, naruto reboot win i know right yeah, um, yes, yeah, just pony up, quote unquote, and um, let's boot up Master Duel. Let's boot up Master Duel. You know, it's so funny. The days I never want to play Master Duel, like ever, ever again, and uninstall the game, those are the days when I have the best pack luck. <laughs> In anyone else? Anyone else out there notice that? Like, the one day you decide to, like, yeah. I don't know. No. Anyway, I'm sure at some point we will like uninstall Master Duel and just be done with Yu-Gi-Oh forever. But not today. Not today. Not today. Uh just a heads up chat. You know, I'm just uh just looking out for you guys. Download. Okay, and one thing I'm going to do in the meantime in between time is download yesterday's VOD. And we're going to post that on YouTube today. Um, also on YouTube. Uh, chess is okay. Oh, okay. Well, Sir likes chess. Yeah. I, eh, it's, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to play Yu-Gi-Oh. That's my primary audience. So, you know, I might as well just uh, pony up. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, enjoy this commentary by Floodmon14 while, while I do some streamy stuffity stuff. Like a boot master duel. Okay. This is commentary, and this is me going to the Google Chrome, making sure nothing else is playing. This is Chrome being unmuted, and this is this, and this is that. Okay, all I hear is that. That's good. Okay. So, RIP headphone users, but, uh, you know, sorry. You know, today's one of those days where I'm just not going to really care. <laughs> So, whoops. All right. Uh, with that being said, let's click on Master Duel. Yeah. Yep. So, if I offend anyone today, let me just do a preemptive apology. It, no. Not if. Not if. Hang on, hang on, hang on. 
let's uh, let's let's pause this because I know how stream works. Not if I offend anyone. When I offend you today, I just want you to remember one thing. I lost two hours of my life. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go. <laughs> All right. All right. Now that we've gotten all that out of the way. Yeah. Only it. Only one. Oh. <laughs> like a man for that. Like. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh man. Ah <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <clears throat> All right. Um, let's see. Um. Ooh, also, also, good point, good point, Flood. Look here. Mm, mm hmm. Uh, mm, copyrights. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Um. Right, I don't know that I have a seven-hour Civ stream. I don't know that I have that one. Hang on. Oh, let me look at my downloads here. A seven-hour stream? Wow, I... Uh... Oh, right, I can delete this. I've already posted that. Seven hours? Wow. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Uh, seven hours. Hmm. Nah, I'm pretty sure I remember posting this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I really remember. And anyway, that's only an hour, so I don't mind losing that lot. Okay, also, any of the chess streams, I really don't mind losing either. So, okay. I'm just going through here uh, deleting some files, by the way. Uh, <laughs> too based? Yeah. Uh, so, sorry. Just clearing a few things of space since... Uh, yeah, so on my uh, video producer, I have a seven-hour stream apparently available to download. That was Civilization... Oh, sorry. Let me mute this. So uh, apparently on my uh, archive, I thought of the word archive. Yeah, we're there, sir. We're there. We're getting there. So on my archive, I have a seven-hour stream, holy crap, of apparently just Civ 3. <laughs> so I'm going to download that, too, because uh, I'm like 99% sure I didn't upload that to YouTube yet. So, you know... <laughs> Let's just get that before I uh, completely, you know, yabba dabba do my marbles. So, anyway, let's go there. All right. All right. For some reason, Master Duel didn't launch. 
I'm like 99% sure I double clicked it too. So that's a bit concerning. Let's empty the recycle bin. And honestly, if Master Duel doesn't launch, I can literally tell you guys, hey, today's just one of those days. Master Duel literally didn't launch. Um, so, whoops. <laughs> yeah. And if it doesn't launch, we're going to be playing some Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy, which honestly sounds pretty fun. In fact, well, let's just see if Master Duel launches here. I'll give my computer like five minutes to catch up and get with the program. But um, after that, yeah, we're going to go for, uh, uh, yeah, GX and said because why not? So, all right, there's that. Um, let's see. So let's go to the desktop. But yeah, appreciate you being here, sir. As well as um, a couple, yeah, I think KCS stopped by to say hi. Yeah, that's kind of nice of you guys, you know. Just say hi, check in. That's that's good. Let me know you got the noty. All right, so we'll delete these three videos permanently. Now I'm going to give you a trip to the recycle bin, Phantom, and then I'm going to right click and hit empty recycle bin. The chest never happens. Attack force? No, 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 oh, no, 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 <laughs> uh, GBA, uh, all right, and, uh, Hannah, yeah, yeah, and Hannah, too, thank you, sir, thank you, no, uh, GBA, uh, it's, it's literally called Yu-Gi-Oh, EX Duel Academy, yeah, and it's just a game on the GBA that, uh, ooh, I could play Spirit Caller, okay, that's the question, if, okay, if MD doesn't launch, uh, Spirit Caller or Dual Academy? That's the real question. Dude, I almost forgot I even launched a new LP of Spirit Caller. How many days ago was it? <laughs> I was just like, yeah, this is going to be a Twitch exclusive, guys. We're doing Spirit Caller. Hey, guys, it's me, Jaden Yuki. Get your game on. And, like, anyway, I, like, I did, like, one stream of Spirit Caller, and then I forgot about it. So, obviously, I've got too much going on here. That's one thing I am realizing. And you know what? Maybe this Naruto Ninja Storm-like thing is a blessing in disguise. Also, let me think really quickly, sir. Is there any other LP, like, I need the phone for? Like, I need it. I can't do it any other way. Because, like, literally, I think Naruto's the only one, you know, that I have to point at my TV. You know, with this. Let me think. Let me think. I guess Forbidden Memories, but uh, <laughs> I've gotten so lazy with Forbidden Memories that, uh, yeah, that doesn't even matter. We've got so much content in Forbidden Memories that it's just, yeah, I'm not worried about that one. Um, also, also, I guess Duelist of the Roses, like the Red Rose side, which is weird because I've been streaming the White Rose side. I could just move the red row side and stream it the same way I stream the white row side. So that's actually not a problem. Maybe Legacy of the Duelist? But I think everyone's forgotten about that LP, so... Shh. No one watches the stream. So... No, sorry, sorry. No one watches these VODs. Yeah, I gotta talk to the VOD watchers today. Shh. Don't worry, sir. No one watches the VODs. Yeah. <laughs> that's going to be like the running joke of this stream. It's just <laughs> like every time I drop like a kernel of like absolute truth, I'm we're just going to I'm just going to be like, yeah, no one watches the bods, don't worry. Also, also. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Yeah. Um let me think. Maybe there is one. Cuz you see, well, Naruto no, no, because even, um, um, even, um, yeah, even Yu-Gi-Oh! 5, even, yeah, even, um, oh, what's that one called? And, uh, yeah, Master Duel still hasn't launched, so I guess, wow, I guess we're, we're doing this, boys and girls. We're playing, uh, 
and no votes. So that means I get to decide again. All right. Well, it's time. It's going to be a fun day. We're actually going to play the game I was describing. Um, but um, what was I saying? Uh, right, right. Other LPs that are canceled. I, you know, since we're in the canceling announcement phase, I just want to make sure. Uh, is Master? Do oh yeah, I think it is. Yeah, thanks, sir. Well, actually, I don't know, but um, it didn't launch for me, and I double clicked it like ten minutes ago. Um, so other LPs that are canceled due to the phone. Legacy of the Duelist. Okay, let's go over the list. Legacy of the Duelist. Nightmare Troubadour. Oh no. Oh no. Yep. Nightmare Troubadour is under hiatus. Wait, wait, wait. No, it's not. Because luckily in Nightmare Troubadour, we're currently doing the grind for Imperial Order. So New Nightmare Troubadour is not under hiatus. I just thought of that. But uh, yeah, Legacy of the Duelist. Naruto Ninja Storm. I guess Madden. Or the, the NFL podcasts. Yeah, which sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. And also, there's one more I'm not thinking of where I just, well, it's not that I exclusively use my phone. It's that I can use my phone. Um, That game is 5D's deck. No, no, Dawn of Destiny. Dawn of De No, wait, but I'm doing the percent. Well, you see, there's a, mm, well, actually, I didn't even start that series yet, did I? Because. Okay, okay, no one watches the VOD, right, sir? So I think it's safe to say this. <gasps> Wait, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z. Wait, I could just do Dragon Ball Z through Twitch Studio. Okay, Dragon Ball Z's on. What about Reshef of Destruction? Okay, I think that one's canceled. Yeah, Reshef of Destruction is canceled, no lie. Like, that one actually is, um... Yeah, there's no way around that. I have to do... Yeah, so Reshef, Reshef of Destruction is unfortunately canceled. Um, so that's a big loss. Unless I find a caveat, caveat for Reshef. If I find the workaround to get it not only captured on Twitch Studio, but like to where it looks and sounds normal. Because for some reason, the sound is the problem on that one. So, yeah, I don't know why, but maybe bye, bye, bye. Um, so yes, so that's the list. Um, Reshef of Destruction canceled. Naruto Ninja Storm 2 canceled. Legacy of the Duelist canceled. And wait, I'm pretty sure I can capture Legacy of the Duelist on Twitch Studio. Huh. So maybe it's just cancel it anyway, preemptively, in case I'm wrong. Yeah. All right, so anyway, let's go to this. All right, we'll go here. And but yeah, yeah, that's the list. If I think of anything else during this stream, the cancellation stream. <coughs> excuse me, I'll let you guys know. So, all right, here we go, and then let's make this a little bit bigger. All right, sir, here we go. This is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh GX Duel Academy. You ready? That's that's the intro. That's the intro. So, what we do here is we go here. We select, we stretch the screen, first of all, because that's how that works. And we're just going to talk ourselves through this, sir. You know what? Today might be the day we pull Pot of Greed, you know? Feels like that kind of day. Um, Let's go to the Twitch studio. Let's click the VBA, I mean the Soldier Boy game console, because that's how that works. Let's click that. Let's go to gameplay. Ah, and see, there's me. And there's the VBA. Wait, that, that actually looks pretty good. Okay, and so now we stretch this. Uh, but what does Pot of Greed do? Ah, uh, yes, rank 10 Yu-Gi-Oh! So, what a good YouTuber. Ah, oh, man. Such a funny guy. So original, so wholesome. Just, just funny, man. Just really, really funny. And a great guy. You know, we owe him a lot of thanks. So, uh, but anyway... Let's, uh, looks like we can stretch this some more, so let's stretch it some more. And I don't think I need to stretch it down, no, like, honestly, that looks pretty good. Oh, wait, 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 let me think. Will my face cover cards? Um, who cares, who cares? <laughs> All right, honestly, that looks pretty... Can we completely take out the orange? Uh, let's leave a little of the orange. Just because, 
I'm thinking about the size of the field. Okay, anyway, guys, here we go. Let's make sure we can hear. Um, right, sometimes I'll have this on mute. Also, also, let's go to the volume mixer. Just cover the cards. Just in case you can stream site. No, no, don't, don't worry, sir. It's not a... Uh, it's uh, all, all against the AI, so it's not actually a... Uh, yeah, an online game. It's a, like regular game which is really weird because most games are online anyway this is let's play Yu-Gi-Oh gx dual academy by me floodmon 14 and i'm gonna make sure we change the game category i didn't forget sir like sir we are on top of it sir today me you, you and me man you and me we're like we're like this bro we're like this like you are helping me so much to just like <laughs> yeah Stay on top of it here. So we got this, bro. So we're going to go to Twitch, right? The same place we're streaming right now. We're going to open the tab that says Floodmon14, which HTTPS colon slash slash Floodmon14. We're going to click on my uh, thingamabob, which has me wearing a Kaiba jacket. We're going to go over to Creator Dashboard and create a new tab, right? Because that's how this works. <laughs> Damn it, sir. <laughs> Pony equals up. <laughs> That's also going to be like a meme in the stream. <laughs> Pony equals up and like no one watches the VOD. You know, That's <laughs> also, also, I guess if you're a, you happen to be a big, uh, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel just for Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy, congratulations. Your LP is not canceled, number one. And number two, uh, <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, Tim, Tim, let's, let's cut in here. Let's, uh, let's clip this right here. This is the start of the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX VOD. Okay. Hey, guys. Floodmon14. And welcome in. We're here with Twitch chat. Uh, yeah, a little bit of bad news today. So just an update for you guys. You specifically. Who only watch for the GX Duel Academy. Welcome, first of all. Say hi to Sir. He's like the best guy in the world right now. Because otherwise... Yeah, hi, YouTube. Yeah, so... Uh, guys, we've got a situation, man. And, like, I'm not going to show it on screen, but you just have to believe me. Go to my Twitch and rewind the most recent VOD. My phone broke, yo. My phone broke. And, uh, yeah, hi, future me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. wait, what? <laughs> yes, that's right, folks. You, too, can say hi to yourself in the future, from the future, back to the future, Futurama. And then you can, by coming to Twitch, right, because my Twitch streams are way ahead of my YouTube. VODs, episodes, etc. You guys remember, uh, <laughs> yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories? <laughs> was, well, I don't, you know. Anyway, so anyway, so uh, yeah, future, 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 come future. Anyway, yeah, if you guys want to talk to yourself in the future, go to this website, twitch.tv slash floodmon14, and give me a follow. Shameless plug over. Okay, here's the deal, sir. Um, we're going to go to edit stream info and, uh, yeah, Tim, sorry. We might get a lot of salty clips in here, but some people like salty clips as much as, you know, non-salty, you know, it's, it's almost like a bag of Lay's potato chips. So my favorite kind of Lay's are, um, um, cheddar, sour cream and onion. And that's just the kind I like. Um, so, but not everybody likes how salty those are. And, um, speaking of salt, I'm not too happy right now. <laughs> yeah, guys, we, uh, yeah, Naruto Ninja Storm 2 is canceled. We lost it, man. We lost four episodes, four funny episodes of it. So, uh, stream or YouTube. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> so yeah, that's a thing. Um, it's a very sad day. I'm actually very, very, very sad. But due to Sir's hilarious banter, I'm actually holding it together quite well. So let's type this in. Uh, y U, and then let's look for. Oh, there's Forbidden Memories. Uh, <laughs> do they even have GX Duel Academy here? On <laughs> I doubt it. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, they actually have World Championship 2006. Let's keep scrolling down. Oh, they do have it. Here it is. This is the game we're playing, guys. Yeah. So let's uh, hit done. 
And yeah, there we go. We just updated it. So anyone who has questions about what kind of game we're playing here on Twitch, there you go. Now, with that being said, I'm not, I have not, I'm not done, sir. So let's delete nightmare. Let's delete. Oh no, let's add some tags. Let's add GX. Right. And we always have the dual tag. So that's kind of nice. That saves us some time. And then we can add the academy. Academy. And I did spell that right, right? Okay. Now we're good. Now we're good. Oh yeah. All right, sir. Yeah, sour cream gang. Yeah, so um yeah, I don't know why that's my favorite brand of chips, but and yeah, whatever. Anyways, guys. Welcome in to uh yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh GX Dula yeah, in the world. Huh. That was weird. Anyway, this is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh GX Duel Academy by me, Floodmark14. Also, let me know if you can't hear audio. So, guys, welcome back to you, you, yo, g, 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 e, x, k, da, 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 ba, 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 da, me. This is the uh, it, intro, trotto. So, um, it's Sunday. Uh, right. Don't we have a test this week? Anyway, what we want to do is see what deck I'm playing. So, let's go to edit deck. So. All right, I have no idea what kind of deck I was using. Oh, a 65-card deck. Okay, this is the machine deck. Sweet. Yeah, very old school. You have 1979. Great year. <laughs> Wasn't a... <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking about something that happened back in my lifetime because I'm a boomer. Uh, anyway, so tired? Uh, <laughs> you got that right, game. Let's use the L thing and let's hit save. Why'd I hit save? I don't know. I meant to hit so tired, go to sleep. I go to sleep, yo. Brings back memories. Another week, another adventure. Yeah, here we go. So we're on the 30th. Oh, welcome, Flood. Take a look around. Hi there, Dorothy. Anything catch your eye? All right, so let's uh, buy some packs. I don't know what pack Pot of Greed's in. Oh, new pack. Ooh, Expert 3. Hey, I look like a Yu-Gi-Oh! Expert. Points at wall of cards. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's buy, like, two of that. And, um, I don't know. One of this and one of this. Because we're still looking for Pot of Greed. And I don't know. We already have Mirror Force, so. All right. One Trap Special. Done. Is this okay? Yeah, you bet. Let's get that Pot of Greed, Dorothy. All right. Witch Doctor of Chaos. Ooh, Dement Ooh Fenrir. One of my favorite cards of all time. That Tower of Babel. So is this pack basically just Invasion of Chaos, the pack? Yeah, Monster. Painful Choice. Well, I don't, I don't know if that card's legal, but geez, the forceful entry. Okay, okay. Uh, we're getting some good cards here. Statue of the Wicked. Okay, so yeah, some of these are new, like Sasuke Samurai Three. <laughs> yeah, I think the BLS pack is literally just Invasion of Chaos. Uh, this card's actually pretty good. Um, yeah, so it basically grants piercing to all the Tri Brigade types: Beast, Wing Beast, Beast Warrior. So pretty good. Um, with that being said, um, yeah, I think I will, I guess I'll keep Forceful Sentry and that in mind. But, um, yeah, let's uh, buy some more Invasion of Chaos, I guess. Uh, those cards seem pretty good, honestly. So, all right, this is new too, virtually for us. So, let's buy two of that and uh, Continuous Effects. What? I don't remember this being here. Uh, let's buy, like, four of those. Okay. <laughs> And let's buy two Invasion of Chaos. All right. Yeah, I mean, I mean, <laughs> that's what everyone calls those types now. Okay, so we get Ojama King, baby. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else. Fusion Weapon. Uh, Spirit Barrier. There's some combos you can do with that. Some pretty funny combos. Wave Motion Cannon. Okay. Uh, Needle Wall. Pyramid of Light. Wait, that, that, that's actually in this game? That's weird. Chain Energy. Okay. Um, coffin seller. Ooh, card of safe return. The really royal decree. Oh, <gasps> royal decree, dude. That is awesome, Manju. Okay, chain disappearance. Gigantes, dude. Royal decree. Okay, guys. You know how everybody cheats and uses traps in this game. Okay, if you guys don't know what royal decree does, I understand because no one plays trap cards anymore. Let me read this card. As long as this... I'm so excited right now. Oh, my God. Hype. Hype, dude. Hype. 
Uh, as long as this card remains face up on the field, negate the effects of all trap cards on the field except this one. Yeah, this basically says, "I'm Jinzo. What are you gonna do about it?" Yeah, so you know how every deck in this in this game is like so trap heavy. <laughs> this basically just reads, "Win the game." <laughs> okay, guys. So uh, now, is it legal? Mm, I don't know. For a while, Royal Decree was at only one or two, so I guess we'll see. Uh, nope, I'm done. Thank you. No, no, thank you, Dorothy. Okay, so it's Friday. Uh, it's Bastion. Ah, Valentine's Day, mate. Is there an event? Okay, anyway. No, thanks. I'm too busy solving dual formulas to talk with the ladies. Okay, translation. Translation. The truth is, Bastion can't admit the truth to himself and is salty because no one asks him to go to the dance or whatever solving formulas come on bruh we know nobody asked you you're bastion you're the most forgettable Yu-Gi-Oh gx character actually who's this guy even on my screen what no <laughs> i came to do the academy to learn not for chocolate okay side side truth bastion's like highly allergic to talk chocolate and can't eat it any salty. You need to get your priority straight. Oh, Hermione Granger much? Yeah, you stole that line from her, Harry Potter. Bro. Oh, oh no, wait. I'm sure that... No, no, that was Ron, Ron Weasley, right? Oh, looks like she needs to get her priority straight. Yeah, yeah, that was Ron Weasley. Yeah, yeah, you're a Ron Weasley thief, bro. <laughs> you're not even half as cool as Ron. Get out of here. <laughs> Who was that guy anyway? The guy in the yellow jacket? I don't know. Flood, uh, who's talking to me? I'm gonna assume it's Jaden. So get your game on, Flood. Oh, oh, it's Zane. What business do you have here? I summon Cyber Dragon. Well, classes were over a long time ago. Uh, yeah, Zane. Are you waiting for someone? Um, is this like a one of those visual novels where we have a plot to plot? Device.exe to um, gain a heart meter with a Zane. What? Are you waiting for someone? Uh, waiting for Zane. Waiting for tomorrow. <laughs> what? Um, I'll just say I was waiting for Zane. Well, what is this, man? Uh, yeah, I was waiting for you, bro. Sure, whatever. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's uh, Zane. You actually look happy. It's kind of weird. You good, bro? <laughs> it's been a while. <clears throat> since I've spoken with another duelist. Oh, you know, this technically makes sense because, like, you know how Zane's, like, the best duelist in the school? Wouldn't everybody be afraid to duel this guy and thus talk to him and thus befriend him? Yeah, you know, Zane being kind of lonely makes sense here. Anyway, let's see what he has to say. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Um, Is he going to give us, like, a free cyber dragon or something? This is as far as I'm going. Oh, yeah, this is your dorm. Okay, bro. Um, Yeah, good talk. Um. You want to add me on uh, MySpace? Yeah, yeah, that was around when. Yeah. <laughs> There's no need to be nervous. You invited me, not the other way around. Oh, so um, I don't need an adult? I need an adult? I am an adult, Gohan. No, no, you are not. Goodbye, Flood. Uh, bye, best buddy. Who is this guy? Oh, that was weird. Huh. So nothing really happened there. Oh, mail. Wait, maybe something did happen. The headmaster of our raw yellow dorm is Professor Salt Saito. He's quite the duelist. However, if you don't visit him for over a month, the old chap gets quite lonely. Oh. So apparently there's an event where if you don't duel him, uh, Professor Sater will do something. Hmm. Okay, so there's an event for raw yellow. Anyway, let's <laughs> go to the deck, first of all. Let's check out that royal decree, shall we? Hmm. Oh, yeah. So let's go... May take me a while to find it, but let's see. Let's find that royal chat. Yeah, we just pulled a royal in Master Duel. It is unbanned. Wow. So, yeah, so you know, you guys know how we open the continuous effects pack? We're going to open up like 12 more of those because three royal decree is like the best thing ever. So, all right. Um, What deck is this, by the way? I just realized. Wait, is this the. Oh, this isn't the right deck. Okay, well, in that case, 
Let's um hum did hum did go to deck mode. Let's go to wait unlimited D. I guess this is the right one. Okay, okay. Well, anyway, because this is the limiter removal deck, I think. Um, anyway, we definitely want to save. Are you kidding me? That that was awesome. That was so awesome. All right, there we go. And then let's go back to Duel Academy. And yeah, let's do some duels tomorrow is Saturday. Yeah, so basically you're free to do whatever on the weekend. Um, we're, we've been uh, defeating Chaz here late, a lot lately. That I do remember because, uh, yeah, if you, <laughs> we got the mail where it's just like, oh, yeah, if you keep beating the Obelisk students, hint, hint, hint by Cyrus, uh, especially Chaz, if you defeat Chaz like a whole slew of times, then I know an event happens for sure. Um, so not anything there. You know, I wonder if Crowler will duel us at this point. We are in raw yellow, so maybe. Let's talk to Crowler. Excuse me? A shrewd duelist wants to duel me? What nonsense is running through your head? Oh, we can duel him. Ha, huh, he may be the big fish in your hometown, but this is Duel Academy. You'll find out that you're nothing more than a guppy. Huh, you say so, bro. All right, so first duel with Crowler. We've never dueled him before, so... Hey, new content. All right, let's do it. All right. Duel. Man, I love the music in this game. All right, so let's see. Okay. Looks like you're going to be running out of steam, Teach, because I set a monster in defense mode. All right, I end my turn. Heavy Storm, pretty good. Let's see what Crowler's lines are. It's time to start a lesson in humiliation. I draw. There's no game audio. Oh. Whoops. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, perfect. I summon Insect Knight in attack mode. There you go. I guess I need to check my uh, do, 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 do thing here. Uh, also, <laughs> I do realize it's Sir commentating, so this might be like a JK. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, says there's game audio to me. So, all right. I don't know. I guess I'll have Iga come in here. I'm kidding. <laughs> now, I will turn the volume up to 25 on my master volume, so, all right, maybe now there's volume, I don't know, you know what, no, 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 no. you know what, you know what, let's do this, there should definitely be volume now, kids these days, always thinking they're better than they actually are, all right, oh yeah, I hear, I hear game audio, yo, wish your state and dual monsters community college, uh, bottomless shifting sand, that's interesting, Wait, won't that kill your monster? Um, another one, huh? Yeah, if I play this right, won't this just defeat your monster? Uh, yeah, at the end of the opponent's turn, destroy the face-up monster with the highest attack. Yeah, bro, you just wiped out your own monster. How's that feel? Um, with that being the case... Hmm. Well, let's see here. Let's, uh, we got Mobius too. Okay, so let's just set and pass. That's honestly our best move. Let's bluff evenly matched. Okay, and there we go. <laughs> All right, so Shifting Sand takes out the... Uh, it's so weird that he plays that card. Oh, anyway, that takes that out, and then, uh, yeah. All right. With that being said, I will lower this out of an abundance of fear. There we go. Yeah, so there's definitely game audio. So there we go. And then, uh, yeah. Let's see. Also, also, let's just check stream myself because I have it pulled up. So we're checking game audio. Game on, get your game on. Audio, whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm. I guess it is pretty low, yeah. Let's see. Ooh. Interesting. So, it looks like I goes wrong for once. All right, so there we go. There we go. Okay, audio's piping in. I'm going to give it 45 seconds. Oh, perfect. I summon Goblin Elite Attack Force. Okay. All right. Um... So there's that. There we go. Delay again. All right. There goes Drillroid. Oh, also, let's do this. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Uh. 
Okay, let's do it like a full turn. See what happens here. So shifting sand's gone, which is fine. Ooh, perfect. Okay, so let's do a full turn. Because I can hear game audio just fine. So that's really weird. Oh, by the way, I should probably do this. Okay. So maybe it is on me. Hang on. Do a full turn. Anyway, we're going to send Sinister Serpent. You guys can still see the gameplay, though, which is good. Um, Yeah, Heavy Storm. Why not? All right. And the final face down was Mirror Force. Yeah. See what I mean about Royal Decree being a good card? Anyway, uh, let's banish uh, Drillago for... Oh, sorry. Drill, <laughs> Drillago. <laughs> let's banish Drillago <laughs> for Um, I'll keep Mobius, actually, because, yeah, reasons. And then we will attack. Interesting. Maybe it is my volume mixer here. Because I have it at, oh, at like 3. So, okay, now let's put volume mixer up to like 21. Yeah, now I can really hear the audio. Elite's attack force is gone. How embarrassing that a loser like you destroyed it. Indeed. Alright, so I'll end my turn. Let's let Kronos do a full turn up to the battle phase. And then I'll really be able to test the audio. Pot of greed! This is why I'm the teacher and you, you're, well... Worthless! Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> well, didn't expect that dialogue. Two face downs, okay. Alright, draw. Now we... Sinister Serpent. Okay, now we audio check. Hey, there is no audio. Wow, that's odd. Okay, hang on. That is odd. Hmm. Why could that be? I don't know, but let's just finish this duel and figure it out later. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, anyway, continuing the duel, upstart goblin, mm, magic jammer. You'll wish you stayed in Duel Monsters Community College. I activate my face down, magic jammer. That's really odd, actually, because I have plenty of audio here. So uh, anyway, let's just continue out the duel because, uh, yeah, we're here to duel. Uh, let's play Raigeki. So for those of you who don't know, this card's glitched in this game. <laughs> you actually don't need blue eyes on the field. So, yeah, kill Raigeki. <laughs> Say goodbye to those life points, Wheeler. Oh, Hain Hain, that's annoying, yeah. Uh, let's just set Serpent. And I guess we'll finish this duel out and switch to Master Duel or something. Because, uh, yeah, for some reason, you can't hear audio. So, looks like there's no GX Duel at Academy today either, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Whoops. Also, sorry if you like the audio, but the audio doesn't like you. Yeah, yeah. You know, wish you stayed in college. Uh, I thought he activated the third bottomless shifting sand. I was about to be like hacks, bro. Anyway. Um, yeah, we've got an easy out for this. All we do is, yeah, <laughs> Mobius. All right, and now Mobius is going to ice over that face down, buddy. Go, Mobius, use your special ability. Frost Glacier Freeze. When Mobius is summoned, well then... I can destroy up to two spells and traps, and I choose the Ice Over Call of the Haunted. Now go, Higantis, Earth Crusher Blow, and go, Mobius, Frost Glacier Freeze. <laughs> no, I appreciate the heads up, sir, because I probably wouldn't have noticed that, because it's fine. I'll give that move a C plus. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, it's so weird, sir. Like, I hear, like, not only audio, like, all the audio, because it's actually turned up quite a bit, but, uh, yeah, hey, hey, glitches do happen. You know, I'm not going to deny that. Sinister Serpent, return. Kila Snake, come on! All right, so yeah, great game. Sorry there's no audio. Uh, let's just summon Drolago and go for as much damage as possible. All righty. Uh, how much you want to bet this is Penguin Soldier? Go, Mobius, attack. Frost Glacier Gatorade. Hashtag not sponsored. Green Gadget? Wait, this guy... Wait, the gadgets are in this game? What? That's got to be the best deck in this game. Dude, what? <laughs> the gadget engine has to be like the best in this entire game. What the? F what? I did not know the gadgets were in this game. Okay, okay, guys, okay, okay, okay. We officially have a new goal in this game, and it's basically this. 
get three green gadget, three red, three yellow, one stronghold. That's like, and we get like Pot of Avarice too. Pot of Avarice. Because that engine is way too good on a card advantage. So, Crawler finally uses machines. Yeah, exactly, sir. Exactly. Dude, that is unbelievable. I didn't even know the gadgets were in this game. Huh. Anyway. We're winning a duel. I can hear the music because it's cool. All right. Now, go. Limit removal. Looks like this doubles my machine's points. What do you say, Crawler? Oh, look at his face. You can't school me. How can I lose to a dropout boy? Yeah, yeah, Crowler's Japanese voice is so funny. He's just like, because whenever he insults Jaden, it's in uh, English. So he's just like, drop out a boy. <laughs> you know, and he actually sounds like French because his name is actually Kronos de Mechi or something like that. So pretty interesting. Yeah, I lost to a shrewd duelist. But yeah, Sean Chamel, of all people, Goku, actually voices this guy. <laughs> so uh, impossible. Unbelievable, unthinkable, unbelievable, but thinkable. Also, that's a play on um, what he says in the Japanese version, because he basically it's basically like an um, onomatopoeia. It's like a word salad. Every, the first time he loses to uh, Jaden, because he com he combos like drop out boy, but like a bunch of other just like words that some sound. It's it's a it's a very flavorful like it's almost like a what do they call that? Haiku. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's like a haiku in Japanese. Just just look it up. Look up the Japanese version. Whenever he loses to Jaden, he basically haiku he half haikus and half insults him in English. So really funny. Anyway, guys, we're just gonna save right here. Um, thanks for watching this stream of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. I hoped you liked watching me pull Royal Decree, but obviously we can't hear uh the audio, so this stream's over. But yeah, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you all next time on Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. And that's a clip for Tim. We are actually not ending stream, and we're just going to play something else. So, all right, and out of a abundance of caution, I'll make a backup save here on my officially licensed uh, Soldier Boy game console. Also, also, let's try closing this and rebooting, because that might help. Okay, so we close this. Right, right, sir? Okay, so let's close. And then let's go back in. And let's go to the downloads folder, which I'm going to show on screen because I'm going to dox myself. JK. Then we're going to open the Soldier Boy game console. Then we're going to go over here, right, sir? Yes, yeah, sir, sir. You're with me, right, sir? Sir is with me. Then we're going to hit open. Then we're going to re-click. Re-click on Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy, then I'm going to take a drink. Alrighty, let's see if we can hear audio now. Also, also, there we go. I just realized. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. That's so odd. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Pretty weird. Because um yeah, that's that's really weird. Huh. I I guess this is on like Twitch Studio. <laughs> because uh yeah. That's odd. Hmm. Oh well. Well, we tried, guys. We tried. Uh with that being said, let's move this back to where I had it at three. That is really odd. Wait a minute. 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 
Wait a minute. No way, dude. No way. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That is really odd. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait a minute. Hang on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can we hear audio now? Hang Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Let me... Uh Uh-huh. Is this really what made the problem? So let's go here. Let's see if we can hear audio. Is that really what made the... That's what made it, uh... Wow. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. Is that really... Let's see. Is that really what happened? I had Twitch Studio muted. But what's, what's weird is... um, Obviously, I've been interacting with Sir all morning. So you could hear my mic. But if this fixes the audio... So what's weird about this is like, okay, so I unmuted Twitch Studio, obviously. If you can hear my mic and not the game, that is, wow, that is weird. Although I guess the mic is on a completely different program, so maybe that's not too weird. But that is interesting. So let's see if you can hear game audio now. Let's do a test. Testing one, two, three. Because I did just realize as I was scrolling through the volume mixer, I was just like, man, is anything else muted here? Um, but yeah. Uh, I like this track, by the way.
Yeah, I probably shouldn't do that. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, yeah, now it's now it's there, I think. So here's what we do now. Now we change it back to where <laughs> everything is where it was. So and let's listen now. Sorry about that guys, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry if volume was too high there for a sec. All right. Yeah, so now we change everything back to where it was. So that's so weird is uh, Twitch Studio, of all things, had the... Uh, had the... Yeah. It was so weird because the mic was fine, but the uh, game volume was not. I'm going to have to keep that in mind, so... Yeah, make sure I don't uh, do that. But anyway, um, let's do one more audio check. At the, yeah, it was so weird because the mic was fine, but the uh, game volume was not. I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. So, honestly, that sounds fine. The volume where it was just at, and I've got this on. Let's just put it down to good old fourteen. There we go. All right, there we go. Okay, so <laughs> solve the volume issue. Um, ooh, I guess you can't see the dialogue, so let me ask her it. We'll just kind of leave it at default. All right. Doesn't matter if my face covers the words. It's just Chaz. Okay. Let's duel, Chaz. Here we go. <laughs> nice. Audio fix. Blood versus Chaz. All right. I'm sorry. The Chaz. What? Me don't jump like you. You know who I am. I'm Chaz Brinson. <laughs> All right. We continue. And actually, I don't even care if the audio is not fixed or not. We're just going to keep playing. All right. Pretty sure I can stretch this a little more. So that there. Alright. Now we're gaming, chat. Now we're gaming. There we go. Uh let's set Royal Decree probably. Uh, like good, good idea to me. Wreck. I guess that the AI does have seven tools too, so I don't want to. Uh, maybe it's not too much. Yeah, sure. Bro. Uh, the game command. Gaming the main phase, battle phase, gaming the battle phase. Just kind of fate royal decree. Another phase down. <laughs> Good news, buddy. I've got royal decree. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna waste the cards. Oh, look at that royal decree effect. That's nice. All right. So let's flip grab. All right. What you got? Huh. You're wasting your cards. Face it up, guard. Travel. Yeah. Face down card. Royal decree. Face up card. Royal decree, bruh. Royal decree, bruh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, let's. Uh, da, 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 da. I guess cannon. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know what's really funny? Um, let's bait the magic game. Because I'm sure the AI will still play it, even if. Um, ooh, call the on this one. That's good, actually. Alright, so let's summon. Cancel. Figure these monsters out. No reason not to. Uh, I guess I can set limit on this one here as an extra protection. Uh, yeah. 
Ditto. Home toss. All right. All right. But, um, yeah, appreciate you being here today, sir. Um, I don't know if you're still here or not. But, um, yes. <laughs> yeah, somebody, somebody on YouTube, you know, come to Twitch and just give a uh, sir thanks a lot, 9,000 a lot. Give him a big thank you. Because, honestly, I wasn't sure if he was, like, trolling. Because, <laughs> you know, there are people on Twitch who do troll about volume. And, really, if he hadn't said anything, I would have just kept going. I would have kept going for uh, nine hours. With no audience. And then everyone who came in, I'm like, look, you're like, you're trolling. I'm like, you're trolling, bro. I wouldn't even take them seriously. Okay, I said Cammy was interesting because... Okay, let's just try this. Let's try to win this turn. I get assigned to two, so... Giant rat, bone top. Isn't it some kind of flip monster? It's cloud zombie. Doesn't look too good for you, Chaz. Alright, looks like we're getting a time for two bonus on this one. Now I activate limiter removal. This unlocks all the limits on my machines by doubling their points this turn. Cannon Soul, Cannon Blast, Cannon, except Cannon. Yep, and yeah, that's the nice part about Cannon Soldier is that, uh, yeah, main phase two. You're not getting up. Come on, Chaz. Can you not read, bruh? This is classic, you know, to be a player who can't read. So, yeah, with Cannon Soldier, I attack by fifteen. Game over! Alright, and we get 818. Yeah, because we get the times 2 bonus down there. So, I'm not bad. Great. Ah, I lost me, Blues. I'll get you next time, play. I'll beat you. Alright. Not too bad. Um, there's Alexis. Let's do a Alexis, why not? Hey! You! What a duel. There's something interesting about your style. There's something interesting about you, too, Alexis. It's your. everything. Oh, will you do? Thanks, you better not take me lightly because I'm a girl. Uh, why would I do that? I mean, she's like a strong girl. Uh, let's go first because, yeah. Why not? Alright, there we go. Alright. Nice. Um, ooh, that's what I forgot to do. I knew I forgot to do something today. Copy this. Um, you're right. My, uh, download. Or let's actually switch back to just chatting for a second. Yeah, for just a second. Let's see here. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, let's switch to just chatting for a second here. Because I just realized. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> so, one thing I just realized is, um, remember how earlier I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna put this VOD for whatever on YouTube. So, um, I need to go here. Let's close some stuff too. Oh, and let's uh, let's mute Chrome again. The only reason I ever leave Chrome unmuted is because I'm checking audio issues. So, unmute. Let's mute Chrome again. Very important. That way I can do whatever behind the scenes here. Um, all right, let's go here. Let's delete this. Uh-huh, let's do here. I don't think I need the dashboard anymore. That was so weird that Master Duel didn't launch today, by the way. So let's close this. All right, let's uh open my breakfast. And yeah, go from there. Close this. Right, because I think both the downloads I was working on are done. So let's open this, and then let's open this. Basically, I'm going to start the uh, the seven-hour upload I had before. And, uh, yeah, also, I'm going to have something premiere for you guys. A VOD. Not this VOD, but a VOD. So. And also, also, now that we fixed the audio issues... I think we'll switch games here. So here we go. Um, okay. But yeah, big thanks. Hey, yeah, you guys come to uh, Twitch. Let's see. Ooh, which is which? Good question. Okay, so the hmm. Let's rename one of these one of my folders here. We are in the download section. Okay. 
yeah, I'm going to check these downloads out real quick. And we're going to upload them both to uh, YouTube. It's just one. Um, yeah, one of them. Um, yeah. <laughs> one of them I want to post today. One of them I want to definitely check like a seven hour VOD. Definitely want to check that one out before I just, just roguely post it. You never know. I could have had the nephews saying some very tossed stuff on there. So, you know, you got to watch out for that. That's for sure. Anyway. All right. Let's have some breakfast here. So I've got some of this. Thanks. Let's go for it. Mm. How does oh, Mario hold his breath so long? And yeah, you can actually find the. Oh, you know what? Maybe I did upload this stream. Hang on, hang on. Let me see if I can find. I think I remember this one. Let's go to my studio here. All right, go here. <laughs> yeah, maybe I did. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Yeah, maybe the seven hour VOD is good. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, because seven hours? Jeez, dude. Now that is a long time. So let's go into the studio. I'll just kind of chat here. And, hmm. okay. Let's tab out. Mm hmm. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, because I'm, I'm like 99% sure I remember this VOD. Well, obviously, I remember it. But, um, seven hours. Yeah, maybe it is this one. Yeah, the Charmillion and Friend stream. Seven, let's check the time. 7.03.31. Okay. And let's check the time here. Ooh, yeah. It honestly looks pretty good for this video. Yes. 7.03. Yeah, so if it starts with Madden, which I think it does, then. Wow. Yep, and then right about here, we got some... Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Which isn't bad, I bet. I don't write the reaction stuff. Now, honestly, we were lucky to be a water car. Here we go. By the way, I don't know Oh, and who is this guy? Douchebag hair. Definitely, okay. Funky music. And a guy's just blocking us and talking to us. <laughs> well, getting the water metal wasn't that hard. That's funny. <laughs> if I keep this up, I should be able to get my legendary Pokemon cards. Should we be there? Pokemon. Oh, it's Ronald. Ronald McDonald? And what? It's only you, Joey Wheeler. <laughs> what are you doing? You're a third rate duelist. Like a fourth rate deck. Now get out of my Close this. Okay. So we can actually delete the Super Mario VOD. I mean, the, the, the that one. Uh, and that was the most recent one I opened, which is this one. Yeah, the next to the last one, the seven hour one. So we can delete the seven hour video. Okay. All right. A little bit of me just vlogging. And this should be the. <coughs> Excuse me. This should be last night's stream. <laughs> so do this. So you should hear audio from last night's stream. So let's go here. Yeah, did I take the soda back in the fridge? No, the milk. I was thinking of the uh, the milk never that your stepdad went to the store and get to get. He never came back. 
Daddy. Let's go toward the end here. Um, upload like I didn't realize this myself. Hmm. About like two days ago, I was like, "Yeah," because I did. I did open some stuff off stream, and I was just like, "I just thought to myself, like, and there we go. yeah, I think I'll just, um, yeah, I don't nobody gets what's going on with the deck." All right, so we'll definitely upload. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, Are you ready? Yeah, we <laughs> weren't ready for. 60 card reptile. Ca yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah so bro. what's the main <laughs> combo of the deck? Uh, oh, how does man. it work? Yeah, no, well, do, first I of all, the, it works I with anti synergy. But I should, and, uh, I no, no. Basically, all you do is, um, and it's actually yeah, you right use a uh, snake so. rain. Hope uh, you draw yeah, snake so rain. Do Ogdo Addict combos. And then, um, yeah, climb into Zeus and win. Link. To no, Super Mario. no, no, but uh, seriously, <laughs> so, Oops, like so that's the main combo is just like get into King, uh, with there we go. Okay, Nunu, so we'll um, this, and add. Snake Rain, and let's then you just kind of, <laughs> uh, <Super> yeah, <laughs> you just kind of go from there. Yeah, yeah. Is this is this a royal? I don't know, but uh, yeah. Also, also, just keep in mind, like you're you're running Venoms. So if you've got like, for example, mm -hmm. keep in Just mind if you've got the cash engine online, Super. you know a rise heart's going to banish everything. So go. wait till they like, and, um, you know, Madden. inevitably get rid of your rise heart or negate your rise heart. Madden. Like if they start your turn right okay, Madden, and imperm right? your rise heart, Super Mario well then you're free to snake um, ring, and yeah, you go. can just snowball from there. And you can send like, like Night Sword Serpent, bring go. that back. You can send this. Which I actually used the last duel to get a lot of recurring advantage, yeah, so, so that was kind of nice. Too. And you can send, um, yeah, any, like, Mario, you can even start with Nunu, or, and then just start bringing back Nunu for other yeah, stuff. So, so kind of important. yeah, pretty good. So, so um, everything else is just in here, just, uh, yeah. you know, we got some floodgates, <laughs> like floodgate. Crazy. This is in here for lore reasons. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, this is, uh, yeah. Don't matter, right? And then this is in here because I hate branded. So, okay. All right. Well. Em uh, <laughs> Glad we got that cleared up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess we'll just, uh, we'll just get uh, out here and see what happens, man. Um, secret house, basically. But, uh, yeah. Secret. Good to see you all. Um, because we did go on Star Wars Road yeah. as well. So, Star. Pretty War. cool. Pretty go. cool. It honestly <laughs> works. Yeah, so let's add yeah. Those yeah. Tags. Yeah, this deck isn't, um, I should say, like, this deck isn't intended to win. This deck is intended to just, just say, oh, hey, we get we get gems no matter what, so why not have a little fun? You know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. There we go. All right. All right. Later tags. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Funny, I, I so. linked the game. I linked Pokemon trading card game. But really, I could have uh, Buy some of the, wait, what? This stream was quite what long. I buy it some of the rarity collect also in like, the same stream. Um oh so TCG. Refresh. Oh, okay, oh, okay. In the TCG. <laughs> hmm. That honestly sounds yeah. like Yeah, and so as I'm yeah. sure you guys okay, all so know. Let's go to the seven hour right. Because I'm pretty um, sure Civ three is all. You know, if you're here in America. Playlist, well, I guess it, it applies link. everywhere, but uh, oh so, I gotta reboot. But um yeah, so um and this happens every year, right? <laughs> Right around this time, Super right Mario around like Mario. a week before Halloween, I'll just kind of say to myself, "Hey, man, right, the reaction content, you know, start saving some Speaking money." Like it, it's it's like a mental thing. I might just switch to because that uh, yeah, as I'm sure you guys know, like Black Friday, like, like we'll blink. Honestly, it's a really good chance for me to relax. Wait, we right. Final Fantasy and Black Friday too. will be here. Wow, you know uh, the. That's, uh, the, the big shopping oh, deals no, no, like no, right after Thanksgiving, the theme, which is around like November twenty fourth uh, or whatever. Uh, anyway, I actually myself so out. yeah, I actually do have a little yeah, extra money set aside, out. and yeah, we played. You know, of course, the, wow, the the wow, main wow, things so. are just like, oh man, are you going to finally get a mic? Well, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> it's just so like stream, yeah. you know, yeah, I thought about I actually have the money for one, but I just thought I was like, why not just wait till Black Friday? No, like literally, because if I do. I can probably get like I mean, a mic it's, it's and also, mod, so you know, it doesn't I don't know, shock me. other stuff. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. Uh, there may have been yeah, yes, sir. I, I mean, like, now, seriously, like, to Civ 3? 
Yeah, in fact, not, I could probably get two mics and I or don't have three a link to Final Fantasy VIII either. So if I just thirty days or whatever. Take all this um, but that being said, I guess I'll look out for some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, and maybe we'll. I'll probably have enough by the time Black Friday gets here to have at least like. Maybe we will. Maybe we'll like buy the set I got suggested. And we'll just and have like one so unboxing we'll stream see, yeah, and just Mario tab like literally and just for kicks, you know, <laughs> and we could talk about, just yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then we can okay, just talk about so, whatever, you know, yeah, I, I don't know, would here. you get, I don't know if you guys would be interested in an unboxing which, stream, I, I can also post here in chat. but I'm probably going to do it anyway, but what I'll do is I'll just like, you see how we have like three or four people in chat now, I'll probably just wait to like. Uh, I yeah, don't know. Yeah, people so, show uh, up. I'll, yeah, I'll go ahead and buy the box, link? but I'll wait till we at least have like I don't know, three, four to five people in chat. Playlist. Yeah, so. there you go. Feel free. Yeah, to check it out. you know, I think yeah, that's a good like, idea. Anytime I talk about YouTube stuff, I and really then we can get we can show off some shinies, like I just said. Stuff because Cause, like that's the thing is like if I am gonna well you not if. When I buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards, because I buy them all the time. I mean that's pretty. We'll pull up the. And pretty then, obvious um, but uh <laughs> right here. um and then yeah we just yeah when i buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards oh, wait, wait, wait. i kind of realized this myself mm, about like two days ago i was like i'll stay yeah because i did I, I did open some stuff off stream and i was just like i just thought to myself like why didn't i just why didn't I just open that on stream? <laughs> you know, it's just like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's just, you know, for me, it's just so automatic. Oh, um, that, yeah, I didn't even think about it. Anyway, turn yeah, one. Uh, so we have floodgate. That's good. All right. So we have another floodgate, kind of. There we go. And, and more important, not much going on here. Um, yeah. So we've just got to hope they've got nothing. But uh, if they've got ash, yeah, it's kind of a problem. Anyway, let's see what our opponent is playing today. Let's see. I'm going to guess uh, branded. That would be pretty pretty good right here. Let me just link to... Brawl phase. Escape go. <laughs> Look at that thing. All right, what you got, person? Uh... That's uh, yep. And I'm actually, <laughs> well, we'll at least get credit for playing a trap. Talking about this, so. and with that, we just yeah, sit back and talk about regular stuff. So, yeah, <clears throat> all we're gonna get is some uh, points go. or whatever in this one, and or like credit really for the playing traps. But that's a shame. It honestly, just Numeron. Just Wait, really? Is it Numeron? Like before I start, to, and let's um, see. Oh, whatever. You know, it's funny. Um, I think I have. Um, you know, I huh, maybe be, we um, should run Numeron. Yeah, nah, it's yeah, too like easy. Example, it's just boring, you know really. Playing, um, note to self and <laughs> to remind me. Yeah, like, like notice how I started. Playing, Numeron's um, just so boring. Yeah, Yu Gi Oh GX. Like, like don't get me wrong. It's today. Yeah, if you well, guys have like, Numeron, dude, you should probably run like, it in the festival. Like before I even start booting, because it up, it's so I consistent. Should, but it's just like, post the link to the playlist. It's such boring content. That way, like. Because not everybody likes, watches everything. Uh, are we getting door many? dash like, later? I, I um, like, did way too much you ask. send me? Like, do do I have like stream eats on my? I, I don't think I have it linked. People like, but that does bring up. Thank to, you, sir. That actually brings up know, a quote, good. Quote, quote, up. No, like, I don't. Way to do that am I? Well, a good way to do. That. Well, actually, I need to ask my really sister. More of a reminder she's than a, anything. She's like, usually yeah, the DoorDash provider. Yeah, But uh, yeah. In terms of content, like. Right now, yeah. I wanted to switch over to Nightmare. I don't know about Twitter, that. Which... Stream Eats. Yeah, we could link Quite some honestly, stuff. Do. Uh, so, uh, it doesn't really matter what we grab here, so. That playlist. Yeah. You know what I mean? All right, and let's just and show them what we were playing. Um, let's show yeah. them the greatness I even of the phenomenon. Oh, up, you know, <laughs> they even had Dark Hole. And then, yeah, you just switched over. So. <laughs> yeah, their hand was pretty, pretty good, good here, idea, not going to lie. Dark Hole, Duster. Pretty sure they just uh, had this in hand. Sooner, but, yeah, uh, anyway, let's pretty good hand. Here. Pretty good. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, they had Planet Pathfinder, right? Nah, well, whatever. I'm sure there they had go. some other ways to search it if that wasn't it. Anyway, let's see if we can find a real duel. 
You know, it's so funny. Out of all the LTKs out there, there you go. So I think Numeron's my cool. favorite. And then yeah, if because like people can actually check out a lot of Numeron players if they brick, like, they'll scoop. Just, you know, whatever. So or like if they <laughs> like they would just straight up tell you, again, okay, I'm, I'm playing Numeron. Yeah, they can I scooped. Check out and that's uh, that's kind of nice. There you go. Also, it doesn't like, take too long. To link or say anything or anything. It's just there. Yeah, it just exists. It's like over quick. Scare. That's a pretty good idea, especially like. <laughs> Again, we don't have like a, a whole slew of followers. Call but the more and more we get, the more and more I link stuff. All right. Ooh, Mallet, Exodia. Exodia. Kind of it's not possible. Too. No one's ever I'll been able to summon him. Like, oh, no, there's no extra deck the over here. Mods, uh, uh, I don't like being touched by version. people who don't have that's money. That's a bad assumption. So. All right. Uh, what is this? Couple of aces. <laughs> Look at those couple of faces. Oh, no. And then um, let's just close this. And yeah, that's a really bad assumption. So yeah, let's just hit this. And um, sorry if you heard noise. <clears throat> Someone just woke up. And let's hit this. And let's hit this. And let's hit this. So, all right. And we're going to rename this. This is the what's funny is I can't wait for the stream to be uploaded because like this is the same stream where we beat Pirelli <laughs> with Venoms. <laughs> oh man, that was such a fun highlight last night. Uh I realized we did other stuff last night, but oh boy. That was fun. And I also realized like Windows Defender kind of tanked kind of tanked the stream last night, but uh yeah, you know. <clears throat> I thought about editing this one, but I'm just like, no, no, no. Let's leave it in. Let's in, leave in all the unfiltered unprofessionalism. So, Master Duel. I'll just title this literally what it's titled. Um, Venom's Defeat. Early. Oh, there you guys go. So, All right, that is renamed. Now, I just need to go minimize this. Obviously, you guys can't see anything I'm doing. But that's just to make sure I don't dox myself. Okay, and then we, uh, or uh, the, the the true re show anything on studio is uh, spoilers, you know, because that's right. You can't even spoil your own future series or projects. So, and I'm working on a pretty good end of the year project right now that I don't want anyone to steal the idea of. So, all right. Anyone. All right. So there we go. And now we read details. And yeah, we go from there. Yeah. So, all right. So, what's funny is I'm just going to copy the title um, from <laughs> the. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> over here. Yep. Mm hmm. Reuse. And all I have to do to this title. Is just uh, delete this, add the word VOD, uh, V O D, and then add an exclamation point here. So there you go. All right. There you go. So and it says it'll take about three hours. So yeah, but I'll just kind of queue this one up. Um, so instead of I, the intro, a recent highlight. Um, let's move this here. Yeah. Cut this part out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, and let's put that down. And... <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Reptilian Hydra, out of all the cards in the game, actually won us a game, used its effect, drew a card, and had the exact... Life point, yeah, nuts. Um, yeah, so there we go. Hmm. Um, but... All right. Okay, and I'll I guess I'll update the deck list like later. I'm not gonna do it right now, 
But uh, uh, you know what? Let's leave a note to, to myself here. Um, let's uh, yeah, literally go here. And I'm going to literally put where the deck it says deck list. I'm going to put update deck list. Because I did show the deck list at one point. I'm kind of glad I did that uh, later. But some people do ask, like, oh, man, what's the deck list? I'm just like, I don't know. Watch the stream. Watch the dream and pause. I, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> oh, man. Nah, nah, it's fine. It's fine. Because some people get the deck list better by, like, reading and not visual. So. All right. In screen, yeah, the Duelist Cup is only going to be going on for like, mm, I think, uh, how many more days? Like, maybe, mm, maybe, maybe like, um, I think like two. So we definitely, I don't, I, I honestly, guys, I don't think we'll reach the level seventeen reward for two hundred gems. Which is unfortunate. But I definitely want to at least reach the level 15 one. The one that we're close to for 200 gems. I think that's feasible. I guess I could switch to a real deck for the 17 one. The problem is, is after level 15, you can rank down. So, yeah. I eh, Man. And you know, uh, from 15 and beyond, it's it's basically like ranked. But like, yeah. So, I honestly don't know if we've got the... Just the card quality, as same as everyone else. Also, you could just get really, really unlucky and just... Yeah, I don't know about that one. I don't know if we'll really have time. The issue is not, like, the skill, because we've got the skill set to do it. It's just time. I don't know if I'll have time to... Uh... And I'm not, like, going to worry too much about it. Like, as long as we get the 15, the, the benchmark for the next 200 gems, I'm good, bro. You know, I honestly... Yeah, <laughs> so there we go. A couple linked videos there. All right, and let's just make this one. Um, let's schedule this one for. Eh, what time do I usually schedule stuff? Um, yeah, usually about two thirty. So yeah, let's schedule that one there. That is premiere. All right, we should be good. So oh, that one's uh yeah in the process of uploading. Should take quite a while. But yeah, we're good there, and let's do a time check. Not bad. Almost lunchtime here, so I think what we'll do now, <laughs> now that we've gotten all that completed, let's decide what we want to do. Uh, I don't think there's anyone in chat right now, which honestly makes this a bit easier <laughs> as far as to decide what to do. Um, yeah, I don't think there is. No, there is not. Okay, good. Well... Not good, but uh, that makes this easier on me. Okay, so Sir uh, must have had to go to work or something, or found another streamer that, hey, he ain't got to stick around here. It's all good. <laughs> Honestly, th that guy did me a big favor, bro, because knowing me, without him saying that comment, and me actually like, because, you know, Sir, like, <laughs> he's pretty funny. He's a pretty funny guy. And, like, some of the stuff he, he says is just, like, sarcasm. You know, and I have a I have learned to understand the sarcasm or that that uh yeah, person's sarcasm. Because I don't you know, but anyway. And <laughs> one thing I have uh noticed is like just in general in Twitch, especially since I'm a new streamer, there are all there all are a lot of trolls who will just be like, Oh yeah, I can't hear the audio and then I go or someone will just be like, Yeah, bro, audio's fine, you know. Must be you, bruh. Looks like it's on you, bruh. So, yeah, you do have to be careful that you're not getting trolled. But uh, no, I appreciate the on the uh the help, honestly, because uh, if it was anyone else besides Sir, I wouldn't even give it a second thought. I would have just kept on, blah 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 talking. I mean, which I guess you're supposed to do, but yeah. Sorry, guys, and if you don't like me talking, why are you listening to this video? Like, like seriously, man, click off, hit Alt F4 right now. If you don't like listening to me talk during my streams, 
you know, like, and it's really weird, guys. Like, okay, let me just, I'm going to say what I'm thinking right now. So on like Twitter and Facebook, et cetera, right? I've had comments where people were just like, hey, man, less, less talking, more gameplay. Like, what? <laughs> Obviously, number one. Okay. <laughs> I understand your complaint. <laughs> but first of all, okay, let's reel it in, John. <laughs> Salty John to come out. Here's, let me say this the nicest way I can. I just say random stuff <laughs> and um, some of it's relevant to the game. Some of it's not. Some of it's just like, Oh, I'm talking about this that happened today or this or this or that or whatever. I mean, you don't like it. Yeah. Cool. And it sounds like kind of pious or rude or almost like narcissistic or whatever, <laughs> but no, seriously, like guys, there are way better YouTubers than me or Yugi tubers or polka tubers. So like go follow the guys with, 100,000 subs. What are you doing here? <laughs> like, yeah, go follow Simo. Hey, maybe you find his voice annoying. Maybe you find Gage's voice annoying. Okay, well, I don't know. Start your own channel. <laughs> Listen to your own voice. I, I don't know. I don't know. What I've learned is, like, there's really no pleasing some people. And for every one comment you get, like, on Twitter, and what's weir really weird is this person's a really, really close friend of mine. And I'm just like, dude, you're bringing down the vibe of chat or like the vibe of, you know, me, the streamer. So, but like, yeah, anyway, like we had a nice long, like, cause he's a friend I know IRL and we had a nice, like long, like two hour talk after this. And I was just like, dude, watch whoever you want. He's like, no, I'm just trying to help you. And it, I'm like, bro, I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, no, because he was just saying, well, you know, you probably would open up more to an audience if you did this and this and this. And you didn't talk as if you like kind of reeled it in a little. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm not going to I'm not going to reel it in just to get like one or two more subs. I don't care if you don't like me you're like or you don't like what you're hearing. Get alt F4. I'm not going to stop you. You're not going to stop you. No one's going to stop you. Close the stream now. Unsubscribe. Unfollow. Like, honestly, like, unfollows and unsubscribes, they don't hurt my feelings. But, I mean, thanks for the follow that you left. But, you know, if you feel guilty, then follow back three days later. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> like honestly here's the thing guys as far as both youtube and twitch i have zero expectations zero now we are going to evaluate some things by the time christmas gets here and see like oh is this financially feasible should we just because here's the thing and I, i'll just tell you guys because you know yeah that's the running joke no one watches the vod right so um, it's a good thing no one does watch the vod because i'm about to drop an absolute bombshell of truth you guys ready you guys ready? You guys ready? Well, let's talk about this while I play Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. So here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Now let me turn the volume down so I can really make sure you guys hear me. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Is this feasible forever? You know, for me to just you know, record, 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 stream, 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 and no, it's not. Here's the other thing. I'm probably going to get employed here pretty soon. Like, cause I've been trying at some several different places uh, to switch my employment. So, and it's probably going to happen. If, when that does happen, I'm going to have a lot less time. And what's interesting is, um, interesting is you know obviously I want to be here with you guys as much as possible but um, you know gotta keep the light yeah so here's the thing though guys also also I kind
kind of talked to, I made a promise to myself, as well as some other people that just kind of, you know, uh, are working with me here as we started this, you know, this Twitch thing. There's another streaming site, and I'm not going to say what the name of that streaming site is. But, um, you know, it might be more financially, you know, beneficial, feasible, easier, etc. to switch to that other streaming site that I'm not going to name. Because, you know, yeah, Twitch has lately been kind of coming down on people who name that other streaming site. So I'm not going to name what that is. But I think we all know what it is. And they pay better. And it's easier to get to, you know, partner or whatever. So, <laughs> yeah, here's the thing. It's like, and it's funny. Everyone's been offering me advice for artwork, right? And advice and this and that. And, oh, you should do this. Here's the thing, guys. And obviously, some of you can see where I'm going with this. Um, we set a goal. And by we, I mean... Me and Tim, my editor. At the start of streaming here on Twitch. And we basically just said, hey, if we we don't get 100 followers, just 100, that's, that's honestly a really low ball number. It should be relatively, quote unquote, easy to get, right? And we, but we just discussed, he was just like, yeah, on Twitch, there's no guarantees. I'm like, I know. But here's the deal. If we don't, here was the... I'll get your Revenge Warriors, Zara. Okay. Yeah, we basically agreed, you know, that if I don't get at least 100 followers on Twitch by a certain time stamp, I'll just say at Thanksgiving, that basically from Thanksgiving to Christmas, we would start to wrap up um, series. We would wrap basically, and that would basically be the finale for my YouTube channel, for my Twitch, for everything. It's just like, for those games, for Yu-Gi-Oh! Now, would I continue to make content in general? Probably. I mean, you know, um, yeah, probably. But it just wouldn't be Yu-Gi-Oh! It would be other kind of content. You know, that involves online, most likely NFL podcasts. You know, because, like, honestly, that was that has taken off pretty well. And, um, yeah, I'm not... Uh, not too shocked that it did, but uh, yeah, the NFL podcast that on um, that site, you guys have really been enjoying those. So uh, yeah, let's destroy this, and let's destroy this. So no shock there, but um, trap hole, huh? Right, let's see if they have a magic jammer. <laughs> yeah, nice magic jammer, girl. Under row of the tree. Nice job, Alexis. Way to go. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, so it's a good thing no one watches the VOD because, uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of truths being said here. But I mean, yeah, I mean, what's funny is I don't mind saying it because, number one, this is in a Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy VOD, so I'm sure no one will, you know, catch on. But also, yeah, yeah, you know, you guys deserve to know the truth, and we're, we're getting close to the corner of truth. And so there's really no reason for me to hold back and say, like, not say, you know, because, yeah, we entered this thing, this Twitch thing, this Twitch thing, like, when I, when we rebooted Twitch, you know, Tim, um, Tiffany, and I, we all talked, and we were just like, okay, we need a solid plan, right? And step one of the plan, you just basically start streaming more, I mean, you got free time anyway, just stream and see what happens. That's step one. Step two, you know, you kind of, like, track the growth. And if the growth's not good enough, which, mm, at this point, it's... Eh, there's a chance for it to be good enough. I'll just say that much. You know, and, and not good enough for me. Good enough for my expectations. Because, yeah, you do have to set realistic expectations. The nice part about me already being a YouTuber is that I know better than everybody. Who advises me here on Twitch like, oh man, you gotta have this, you gotta have this, you gotta have this. You gotta do this. like, no, no, no. Let me tell you guys a secret. None of that stuff matters. I don't care. You can have the best artwork. And this is gonna piss some people off who follow me, but whatever. You can have the best artwork. The most professional VTuber model. 
the most... You can just have, like... You can already have, like, a hundred people from your school follow, because you're popular. Follow you, right? Let me tell you what. If you Here's the key. If you're not entertaining complete strangers and you're not funny, at least a little funny, you're not going to make it. How do I know? Well, it's an entertainment business, man. Streaming is literally an entertainment business. And, hey, either people like you, A, or they don't. It's, it, 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 it's, it, it's point blank simple. Either A, people like you, or B, they don't. And, hey, that's just the way the world works, man. I mean, I've got no problem with it. It's just a reality. Either A, people like you, or B, they don't. And, you know, maybe it's because I'm an adult, and I have, well, also because of the, I think the, well, the online experience of YouTube definitely helped me with some perspective, you know, because, yeah, and in fact, like, let's, let's take YouTube as well, let's take YouTube, let's say you invest in your YouTube channel, right, and there, there are ways to do that to where you can, um, buy, buy like, Google advertising to basically get your channel <clears throat> advertised more, and that's great, that's great, but if you're not even remotely entertaining, no one's gonna subscribe, no one's, well, I'm not gonna say no one, but most likely, most likely, you won't get too many subscribers, and I, and I get it, I'll, I'll, basically what everyone's been advising me of, ah, not good. What everyone's basically be advising me of is be professional, which, nah, all right, you know, there is some a level of professionality that is tolerable, and then there's some that's not, and I, I get that, I get that, that's really what everyone, everyone's just trying to help, but here's the thing, here's the thing I know better than anyone, I don't care how professional you are either, <laughs> okay, being professional, maybe you get a... 2% growth off of pure professionalism. Maybe. But you can actually be too professional in the entertainment business. Like, like, do you guys know what I'm talking about? If you're a fellow Twitch streamer, if you're a fellow kick streamer, oops, I said the name. If you're, <laughs> if you're a fellow YouTuber, if you have ever had any job at all at, in, as entertainment, you know this. You can have the perfect suit, you can have the perfect, um, or even if you're like a preacher or a teacher or whatever, or a motivational speaker, like, yeah, if you're like a motivational speaker, you guys know exactly where I'm going. And this is completely true. You can have the perfect suit, or the, let's just say you're, you can have the perfect dress, the perfect hair, makeup, you know, um, you know, you've got the perfect beat, you've got the perfect model, you've got the perfect YouTuber model, you've got the perfect just you know it factor and like this is even true for new streamers who are just chatting and you can just do boom boom you can have the hot tub you can you know try to be part of the meta you can just just and like i'm just gonna say it i'm just gonna say it and you can have like it all lined up right where it's just like hey you know statistically i mean from the outside looking in you should be getting bank you should be getting you know follow 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 if you're not entertaining or you just like people like don't like your personality which hey that's part of being popular it's just like people don't like your personality or don't like you personally there's really nothing you can do you know you just have to just say okay this ain't gonna work you know and like that's a sad harsh reality but here's the truth you don't get to choose if you're popular or if you grow or this or that. You don't get to choose. This is basically like high school. It's like the wild, wild west highway of high school. Think about it. Like, think about Twitch streamers and just internet popularity in general. Do you get to choose your own internet popularity? No. The world. The world out there gets to choose. Now, and I get what people are saying about the professionalism. Okay, to an extent, if you're more professional, won't that make you more visible? 
Not necessarily. Not not at all. Maybe, like I said, maybe the visual representation. Maybe you get one percent or two percent more people than you normally do. Maybe, maybe two percent. But like, think about what I said. How many people out here? And let's just give the example I said are hey they're a pretty attractive young female adult you know age like 26 or whatever right they look great they do the perfect hair makeup you know they, they they go all in they go all in they look really professional have the best lighting invest in the lighting have a good mic have a um yeah they have let's say they have a great personality they have exactly the kind of personality and charisma i'm talking about yeah, they, compared to everyone else, just can't break through. What's the problem? Well, it's kind of it's it's basically the combination of what I just said. Number one, they're not entertaining. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. Let's not be too harsh on them. They they are entertaining, but they're not entertaining enough. Also, they've reached like. I think that they have a hot tub and exactly. Here's the other problem. They reach the, the plateau, right? Because at some point, you do reach a plateau of your popularity. And th this is just true. Like, the thing about, like, anything, high school, politicians, whatever, because all politicians are basically a popularity contest. And every, every like, politician or popular, even celebrity, has a plateau where they just kind of, they're going up, 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 and then it's just like, ooh, you know, they're not really growing in popularity anymore. We've moved on. There are other celebs out here. There are other streamers out here. There are other metas out here besides Hot Tub. You know, and I don't know why I randomly just said Hot Tub, but I really just said it for an example, but actually I'll tell you the reason. The reason is I know this IRL streamer. I know, like, this person I know, IRL, like, she lives here in uh, Wisconsin. And is a hot tub streamer. And she was asking me for advice. She was just like, man, Josh, um, what's going on? I can't seem to grow. I feel like I've done everything right. Is something wrong with me? I'm like, no, 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 no. I was like, that's something wrong with you. What you have to understand is it's a plateau. And it's true, man. Like, you can't control your own growth, popularity, like, etc. Like, you know, and like, and well, cause she, and she was also asking me like, man, I don't seem to be getting as many subs lately, subscribers. Thinking of subscribers, you have Twitch Prime. Would you like to sub to me and get more advice on how to grow your stream channel from a channel that only has 62 followers? Well, you're in luck. Cause I will flood your mind with the truth. And the truth is, gotta be entertaining <laughs> I think I've said that like 15 times but yeah like I don't know if you're not entertaining or if you're not entertaining or funny I don't know buy like a Laffy Taffy's box like a huge box with 20 million different jokes buy a joke book and like I don't know learn to make people laugh learn your audience your audience your audience you know learn to make people laugh because if you can make people laugh this is actually a big secret in life generally if you can make people laugh you can make people stick around or at least think about sticking around and that's all the advice I have man and like literally I was telling her the same thing. and like she just wanted to know because she was just like oh Josh you're always doing this 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 like whatever she was like and how do you not let it get to you? Like, how do you not let it, like, yeah, like, man, you know, you're growing slow, or you're this, or you're that, and she, she was just like, how do you not let that get to you? It seems like it doesn't phase you, and here's the thing, it doesn't. <laughs> I don't let it get to me, because, like, just like I was telling you guys, like, ten, seven to ten minutes ago, we set, like, some, you know, goals, like, yeah, we set some high expectations, you know, Tim, uh, Tiffany, and um, another friend of mine. Uh, who's, yeah, and, and it's, it's just like, yeah, yeah, we set some expectations and goals, and like, hey, if we reach those, that's nice, but realistically, and what's funny is in all the, uh, projections, it looks like I was the one who was right, 
out of out of the four of us because like I set the most realistic expectations. And the expectation I set, you know, for this channel and for the stream in general, was like, I was like, yeah, by Christmas, we're not going to be at 100 followers. And people were just like, what? No, no, that's not true, because you get the initial 250, right? <laughs> and this, this this is where um, Tiffany went wrong, uh, one of my friends. She was like, no, 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 you get the initial 250 from, from YouTube, and then, yeah, you just, you only go up. You'll, you'll get to like, you'll get to like 600. I'm just like, man, eh, eh, eh. And she was just like, she was like, what are you saying? I was like, listen, Tiff. I was like, I of all people know, number one, how hard, quote unquote, and it's not really hard to get people to subscribe on YouTube. It's just a matter of forgetfulness. Like, because I can honestly say, I've been really, 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 really entertained by a streamer or somebody on YouTube, and I just literally forgot to subscribe to them. Also, YouTube sometimes randomly unsubscribes you channels you were previously subscribed to so that's also another issue where are you based down tell the crap but uh yeah yeah dude like first of all like i told her like i of all people know how quote unquote hard it is to get someone to actually like drop a sub over there because it is it, it just is you know so and i said number two you can't make people you know just do whatever i say i can't just say oh yeah go to my twitch because i said so Give me some followers. Do it now. I mean, I can ask kindly, you know, and that's that's great and all, but um, yeah. <laughs> and she was just like, no, no, no. I'm sure, you know, you got a nice community over there. I'm sure everyone. I was like, man. And she and, and like I told this to Tim too. Uh, Tim, and Tim was the one who was kind of on my side on this. I was like, hey Tim, out of the 250 or whatever stuff you got on YouTube, how many of them do you think will come over here? like eh, maybe five <laughs> my harpy girl i didn't know you had an interview and like yeah you know i'm not salty or anything or this or that like trust me like guys like i literally just said two minutes ago i don't care i don't care <laughs> if, if, if if like this channel doesn't make it on twitch i don't care like right now i'm just doing this because yeah hey can't hurt right i mean if it works it works if it don't it don't but, you know, I ain't counting on this thing to, to, uh, to uh, be my couch. You know what I'm saying? No, no. Ooh, good card. Wow. It actually hurts quite a bit. We had a pretty good hand, but... Card destruction. Nice job, Peach. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, and, like, the reason I say that is because, like, I've never counted on YouTube to pay my bills. And I'm never going to count on, you know, Twitch to pay my bills either. I just, I just won't. I can't. I can't, I won't, and I won't. So, uh, Fairy needs a crush. That's an interesting girl. I guess here's what we'll do. We'll start with Rising Energy. So, but yeah, um, pretty, um, interesting. Um, I guess we'll dump Rack. I don't know if we have an Earth in our grave or not. Uh, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, this is just kind of like, the spoilerific stream because because <laughs> yeah like I even said to uh, Sir a little earlier like no one watches the VOD so and I've kind of been wanting to talk about this stuff but like I was just kind of nervous I was like oh man like what if uh, blah 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 but like yeah I just I literally realized this morning like hey no one watches the VOD I mean hey if you do watch the VOD congratulations you've got both Naruto Ninja 2 Storm update, Legacy of the Duels update, or Shift of Destruction update, and um, this update about this channel. About not only the future of the YouTube channel, but the future of the Twitch channel, and just the future of Bloodmon 14. Because I've, that's basically like the, the nexus of this stream is I may not be online for very much longer. So I guess enjoy it while it lasts, man. I mean, yeah. That's really what I, that's like, I could put that for the YouTube title, like, for clickbait, <laughs> which I'm not going to do, but I hate, I hate scummy clickbait titles, but I could literally title this, yeah, I might not be online for much longer. Just kinda, hey, 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 Tim, you want to, you want to clip this? Okay. <laughs> anyway, we win. 
So, yeah. Coolie cool. I'm so impressed. Get out there and keep your winning streak alive. Coolie cool. All right. But, uh, yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's literally, like, what the flippity flam's going on. And now you know. Now you guys know. So, congratulations. You've been updated. Um, What will the future hold? I don't know. I, I tend not to worry about the future. I just uh, kind of have fun, stream, and yeah, <laughs> we're on from there. So, all right. But all that being said, sorry for such a serious topic, but uh, yeah, I, like I said, I'm a little salty today, and I don't care. <laughs> you? <laughs> like, Yeah, so. There. All right, so with that being said, um, let's see, let me go here. Go here, and I'll go here, and, oh, that's what I forgot to do. I knew I forgot to do something. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> and let's go here. Go here. All right. All right, with that being said, let me uh, click here. And I could actually, I could make this clip myself, I think. So. Let me see. Mute this. Mute this. Let's mute myself. <laughs> All right. Let's unmute uh, Chrome. Chrome Dome. All right. Oh, I'm so impressed. Get out there and keep your winning streak. Yeah. <laughs> that's really what I. That's like. I could put that for the YouTube title. Like, for clickbait. <laughs> Which I'm not going to do. But I hate. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> that actually is a really good clickbait title, like I just thought of. So, <laughs> just like, I'm fine, guys. You know, <laughs> this is my last stream online. No, 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 no. But, I mean, hey, it's important to set realistic expectations. And, number one. And, number two, I think it's more important that I communicate more with you guys. Because, normally, I'm pretty vague. And, like... You guys know how I've taken all the hiatus in the past. Is that the plural of hiatus? Hiatus. Well, anyway, the point is, is like I'm actually telling you guys point blank right here and now. Like, this is the reason why. Like, this is the expectation. This is what we're gonna do. This is how the world works. And you know, we might be going to another streaming site or just wrapping everything up and then just. Here's the other thing, too. So, we set, you know, while we were talking about the plan, right, we set what's called sustainable out, you know, sustainable projection, where, you know, you're getting, like, gifted subs and stuff. We set, like, okay, maximum sustainable projection, right? We also set, like, kind of middle-of-the-road projection, which is just, like, yeah, I need to work part-time 20 hours, and then, yeah, can do this. You know what I'm saying. If you're just realistically, let's say you get, like, five subs a month. Okay, realistically, you can make that work. You know what I mean? Um, but then again, Twitch takes its cut. So, uh, no, but that's just for an example. Like, we set, like, okay, high expectations. Like, oh, I don't need to work. Middling expectations was just, like, hey, you know, 
half and half. Let's get a 30-hour part-time job and then not worry about the rest. Also, I pay back all my editors. Uh, Tim, you know, you get your Christmas bonus. And then finally we set like, okay, kind of like in between like, oh, let's just, you know, quit streaming and like middle of the road. It's just right there in that sweet spot where it's just like, I probably need to work like 35 hours a week and you just stream on weekends, right? You become a weekend streamer, which I really wouldn't mind that. <laughs> That's not so bad. Um, but again, in the weekend streamer projection, right? You literally, you wrap up all the YouTube series. You kind of just let the YouTube channel just kind of sit there. <laughs> Maybe you upload on the YouTube channel like twice a month. <laughs> you know, because you have the weekends off. So, you know, one upload on Saturday, Sunday, one upload on Saturday. And you literally only run like one series at a time on YouTube. And you just literally say, hey, everybody, hey. This is the financial situation. These were our expectations. Here's the reality. Okay, we're only going to stream one game. And it's not Master Duel. And we're going to wrap up this Nightmare Troubadour series. Because, like, yeah, if the weekend streamer projection did happen, and which it might, it might. Because we're right in that, as far as the numbers go, we're right in that weekend streamer projection right now. and. If that happens, here's here's a news flash for you guys and other spoilers. Nightmare Troubadour will be finished first. Okay. You know, you know, as far as like um let's plays. Uh Duelist of the Roses, the ranking challenge will be moved to Twitch, both the red and white side. And whatever quality it is, it, it is the quality. And you know. Whoops. <laughs> You know, obviously, and again, again, it, this is all very like, it's all very um variable because like, because see, here's the thing is like, we could just stick it, stick around as a weekend streamer. And then, you know what I mean? Hey, you never know. I mean, you never know what can happen. Someone could come in here and drop 50 subs. And then all of a sudden it's just like, oh, okay. Well, I guess I can put in my two weeks and take off for a month. You see what I mean? Like. That's, that's, and like, literally, like, I talked with Tim and uh, Tiffany about this, as well as uh, uh, my other buddy, who's uh, pretty good with finances, and just like, yeah, dude, <laughs> like, it doesn't matter what job I'm working, like, let's say I'm working at a, uh, uh, a uh, fast food place that serves tacos, like, if someone literally drops, like, that many subs, you know, at once, like, 50, like, literally, that's the reward is, you know, we make things work financially. I put in my two weeks and then we, <laughs> that basically does sustain us for about a month. And we just say, okay, this month we're going to have a lot more streaming. And it's thanks to, you know, um, MXR shadow sneaker, twenty five twenty nine eight zero five. Thanks for the subs mate. And, um, yeah, now it'll take me a while to put in my two weeks. And I, and I do show up for all my two weeks. And you never know. I like to leave every bridge and every door open. You never know where you might need to go back to. But yeah, and then after those two weeks, you know, yeah, obviously. Or I move from, like, for example, the 50 subs example. You move from full time, you know, 40 hours. Or you move from weekend streamer, 35 hours. You move from that to, you just say, hey, I want to move down to 20. Yeah, yeah, you, you just move down and hey you know if people keep supporting you just keep it down at 20 and then when if if in if support increases you move down from 20 to 15 hours you see what you see where i'm going with this guys and then support if support increases you move down from 15 to 10 you know for your your day job and then you just keep going until you i mean honestly or if hey you want to get even more financially just in there you keep both for a while and like even though the push will be hard the fact that you're getting you know regular income from uh, a fast food taco place and like you're basically supplementing your income and that you could do that for like but again burnout burnout's a very realistic thing and i would i would want to avoid burnout i think i could hang in for burnout maybe three months 
But after that, some changes would have to be made because I, well, yeah, I, I've said this before, but I have bipolar disorder and that's, you know, it's a little concerning because my burnout usually involves me being in the hospital or like the intense, you know, unit. So again, this is all just kind of stuff like, hey, this is stuff that I've been kind of holding in and holding back and no one watches the VOD, so. I know you guys aren't going to hear it until 2027, but honestly, this right here helps me, you know, because I can literally just say like, hey, I told you guys why. And then like, I can link to this video from like, once New Year's gets here, I can link to this video from two months ago and just say, okay, like I told you guys what was going on. Uh, you didn't listen. <laughs> it's no, I'm just kidding. I, I really, I really should quit saying like no one watches the VOD because that's obviously not true. But, um, yeah, anyway, <laughs> I, what's funny is I do know the one or two people who do watch like all the VODs, like all the way. I'm just like, wow. First of all, I'm very humbled. Thank you. I don't know why you would sit and listen to eight hours of me, uh, playing Civilization 3. And rambling about the pyramids or whatever. Or like just rambling about historical facts. Because that's what I tend to do in Civ 3. Because it's kind of hard not to ramble about historical facts in a game about history. That you know you just basically discover the world from the beginning and move on. I'm really wanting to play Civ 3 now. But um. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway guys. Uh, this has been your official update on like the channel life everything uh don't worry don't worry like i'm actually doing fine i'm not like you know like oh man i'm worried about flood he said all these things no 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 i'm just being real son being real 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 son and uh no it's all good i mean yeah like i said 20 30 minutes ago no i'm not mad or this well i am still salty about my phone that's uh that's pretty, okay, that's pretty obvious. I do have a bit of an edge today. Edgeman, Yihiro, Edgeman Shokan. But no, like, um, you guys deserve to know the truth. If you've been following, especially like, imagine like an eight-year subscriber to my YouTube channel hears this. Like, you deserve to know. Because you followed me eight years ago. You like every video. Well, you like... You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You hit every notification. You, you know, you've supported me for eight years. Like, literally, you leave comments all the time, you know, like, or you leave, you at least leave comments like once a month. You'll just comment something and just be like, ah, eh, you know, just checking in. You show up, you show up to the YouTube premieres. Like, yeah, you, you've been like at every YouTube premiere lately for the last ever. <laughs> Like, you're the one who deserves to know. Because, like, yeah, the interaction with YouTube premieres, YouTube premieres are basically, like, Twitch streaming live. And the interaction does help. So, yeah, like, you guys are the ones who deserve to know. You're at every YouTube premiere, and you watch all the YouTube premieres all the way through on the VODs. Like, you deserve to know, hey, yo, diggity dog, this is what's going on with Floodmon14 and what I can expect for this YouTube channel in the future today so there you go um with all that being said sorry I, we got a little serious there but um yeah like i said i feel like you the one loyal vod watcher deserve to know so i love you and i'll see you all and next wait right now yeah, we're not in extreme. What am I saying? <laughs> Almost just did the outro by default. No, but seriously, though. So, anyway, let's switch here. Just chatting. And here we go. What do you guys think about the lights? Yeah, that's pretty new, huh? Hmm. Almost like someone uh, donated money or something. Yeah, it's almost like I post these VODs elsewhere, like Facebook or wherever else. Anyway, appreciate the donation, Crowther. Anyway. We're moving on, and we're going to close this, and then we're going to go here.
and then we're going to go here and then we're going to go here and then it's so funny i'm just like we're going to go here all i'm doing guys and i'm sure you guys can still hear the game audio i'm saving on a <laughs> on a gx dual academy because we are going to switch to a different game and then we're going to hit save game we're going to put a save state on Oh, yeah, so it looks like 7 and 8. 7 and 8 for uh, GX. So. All right, and we are Shrew Duelist. I forgot we even had this title. Pretty interesting. But anyway, let's close this. So you should hear a... And close button. And, yeah, we're going to play chess. Yeah, I'm sure you guys saw that coming or whatever. But, uh, yeah, let's just switch to chess. I've been playing a lot of this lately. Hmm, interesting. Uh, it's almost like I love this game or something. Uh, weird. <laughs> Anyway, let's uh, right. This is the video I was editing earlier. The uh, the, the seven hour VOD <laughs> man, that VOD was a mess, man. A mess, but uh, yeah, what's funny is despite all the jumping around in games, we did cover like four playlists that hadn't been updated for. Four months so pretty good honestly pretty good yeah. all right oh man oh there we go <laughs> it's still the slightly light there we go oh all right, and now that I've updated you loyal VOD watchers and YouTube premieres, and I guess I've also updated the Facebook audience. I just want to throw that out there. Yeah, Facebook audience, you guys kick ass, bro. Uh, so I just want to throw that out there. Um, finally, let's... Hmm. Copy this for later. Hmm. Wait, wasn't I supposed to do something today? Oh, yeah. She's not home. Therefore, I'll call tomorrow. All right. Close this. Uh, oh. Um. I guess, um, hmm, if I um, can make a call here, Mario World, let's see, be right back.
Nice. Uh, Picasso Blue just uploaded uh, Pokemon Nightfall. Ooh, that reminds me of Pokemon Nightmare Invasion. You guys, remember that? <laughs> uh, what What's today's date, by the way? Hmm, I could play some of that. Oh, I don't know. Maybe a little tonight. We know when it gets spooky, nice and dark. We'll turn out all the lights here. Yeah, nice and spooky. Spooky stream. Yeah, Pokemon Nightmare Invasion. Hmm, sounds good. Um, anyways, let's see about something here. Um, <clears throat> all right, we've gotten some breakfast now, so. Nice. Okay. So let's do an audio check. Is Chrome unmuted? That's weird. Why did I do that? Hmm. Must have been checking on something. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Okay, yeah. Well, let's unmute it. Don't hear anything. Okay. Hello. Uh, let us like this video. No, no, let's just add to that. All right. And then. Oh, man, that felt good. That was like one of the best stretches I've had in my life. Wow. Nice. <laughs> I did. I, I just felt really good. Um, all right. I never did uh, do this clip. Um, let's just title it this. I'm just going to name it it's the perfect YouTube uh, clip, uh, no, click bait material. Yeah. There we go. 
All right, we got it, we got it. There we go. <laughs> this would be a funny clip. Oh yeah, that's why I had it unmuted, to make sure I was at the right place. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and download this clip and um, <laughs> share it. Um, go ahead and post it over there. Uh, Nice. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'll post this one to my Facebook, which I usually don't do, but honestly, the clip was so funny. I think I'll leave it. I'll post it to my story, too. Why not? There we go. All right. Mm -hmm. hmm. Hmm. I never noticed that before. Like when I when I chew, my forehead like for some reason like my forehead right here gets really intense. It's just like ah, I'm open up opening up the TNI or something. Like look when I chew. Like let me just chew normally. Just it's really weird. Yeah. Anyway, here we go. Mm, yeah, see? <laughs> hmm. 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 Whatever. Hmm. Okay, I need to quit doing that. Um, let's uh, feature this clip. You know what? Sure. Um, <clears throat> actually, no, 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 no. But uh, oh, let's share this on my feeder. Do do tweet tweet do do tweet tweet. Oh, wait, I forget. It's not called Twitter anymore. It's called something stupid. It's called a letter of the alphabet. <laughs> oh, man. Dumbest rebranding on the history of the planet. That guy literally, I can see why he wants to go out to outer space. Because the guy who rebranded Twitter is literally out of this world. And out of his mind. Kind of. Hey, what do I know? Maybe he's playing 5D chess. And I can't see into that dimension of strategy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's always that chance, you know. So, just throwing that out there. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. yeah. All right, with that being said, let's, uh, yep, it's time, guys. We're going to open up chess.com. I, I might be addicted, guys. You know, I'm a new streamer, but even I've noticed how much I play chess, and it's it's too much, guys. I, 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 just, I just, I wanted to let you guys know. I'm a YouTuber. I'm sorry. Let me start this apology over. The submission. Hi guys, Budmon14. I'm a YouTuber. I think I'm secretly addicted to chess. Think about how much Duels of the Roses I play. That uh, that checks out. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think Secret Kid. I'm starting to as an adult. I don't think Yu-Gi-Oh! is my favorite game. I think Duelist of the Roses is my favorite game. It is shall always be my favorite game. Why? The change to a chessboard took away the half of the Yu-Gi-Oh! community that tries to ruin everything. Well, it try to, tries to ruin all the fun out of it. First of all, that's number one. Number two, it's just a fun way to play, man. New system, new cards. Vanillas have effects, you know, like Mystical Elf. Uh, random cards you've never seen. Well, here's the thing. Duels of the Roses has a bunch of OCG cards that we just never got. And so I definitely appreciated that because, like, yeah, yeah, just when I started playing the game as a kid or whatever, I just I couldn't help but notice, like, I played the game pretty early. And you know, like, Eye Armor, that card we reincarnated for two YouTube videos ago? I always wondered, like, yeah, yeah, because I got that card, you know, I got the game, Duels of the Roses, pretty early as a kid. And not just that card specifically, but other cards, you know what I mean? Um, cause there are a whole slew of OCG only cards, like even that big giant, um, machine, you know, the one band that Keith uses that basically uses like base cans and stuff, pace space cannons and stuff. Yeah. The thing with 2000 defense and 1400 attack, like we never got that card in LLB and to be quite frank, it would have been, that card would have been too strong for invasion of chaos format. That's how good that card is. Why? Well, it's a machine. With 2,000 defense and 1,400 attack, and also can be searched off of, like, Giant Rat or this whatever floater, and also limited removal was at 3. That card would have been insanely good. Um, You guys know which one I'm talking about. You know, it's on the thumbnail of... Uh... But, yeah. Always, um... Hmm, mm-hmm. As a kid, right, I always wondered when, yeah, yeah, Space Megatron, Space Megatron. I am Megatron. Autobots, I'm Bull. Wow, I've never done the Optimus Prime voice until now. You know? Hey, you guys like Transformers? And you're a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh? And a fan of just me rambling? And you also watch the VOD? There you go. Get the cube, Sam! <laughs> Dude, I should do, do one stream where it's just the Megatron voice. Hand it over, Megatron. <laughs> like, dude, how how come I've never done the auto, the, uh, yeah, how come I've never done it like an Optimus Prime stream? I should stream a Transformers game. You know, I've never actually played like any Transformers video game. But number one, I'm sure they exist. Right? Because all you do is make a car racing sim and then just slap Transformers on it. So that's number one. Number two, I should really do an, a voice where I play nothing but Beacroids. Dude, okay, chat. Today in Master Duel, you know what we're going to build? Once it hits one o'clock and we can do the dailies, Beacroids. And the entire time, I'm going to do this voice. I summon Real Roid in attack mode. Autobots fuse. I activate Beacroid connection zone. Now, I'll merge with. Megalotron and Autotron to make Omega Autotron. Autobots get back into the fight. Transformers more than meets the eye. Go, Vehicroids, robots in disguise. Now I summon Super Vehicroid Stealth Union. <laughs> get the cube, Sam. Dude, that is genius, bro. <laughs> That's what we're going to do today. That's what we're going to do, okay? Okay, I'm glad we got a plan for today's Master Duel stream. All right. Anyway, uh, best of luck to our opponent. Let's hit play. And um, I don't know. <laughs> Let's try to get past 700 today, chat. I don't know. Anyway, okay. we're going first. Excuse me. And uh, let's just move right here. So, let these two out on the diagonal. I can also move this up slightly. Yeah. Well, let's move it up a little more. Okay, so we're up against Gage Durler. 
And so they're letting theirs out. What I'll do is just, yeah, immediately attack this pawn. So, again, that pawn's undefended. So, okay, they defended that way. But we can just go here. And, um, yeah. I guess I can take with the knight. But then we can take with our knight. And then, oh, okay. That's an interesting move. I guess let's attack this knight because, yeah, why not? I mean, yeah. They could move in here, but then I'll just attack them with my knight, and yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess they could move over here or down here or something, but uh, yeah, yep, we're just point blank attacking the knights. In fact, if they move here, we get another tempo. Okay, that's cute, but um, it's not really going to work because yeah, this is what we call a double attack. So, now they have to move their queen. Right. Now, let's leave the bishop there to defend this pawn. So, let's move here. And this is what we call a double attack. Yeah, very dangerous. Um, Now, they have to move their queen. They can't save both at the same time. So, no matter what, we get a free piece. I mean, yeah, that's fine. I don't really care about that. This knight is free for a pawn. So... Yeah, and that's, well, I guess we're under check, so, yeah, we are under check, so let me just, how do we do this? Well, we've got a couple ways to do this. The best way to do it is to just, yeah, block here, and next move, we can attack the queen, actually, and um, I guess their best move would be to take this pawn with the queen, believe it or not. But that queen would be undefended. So, again, I don't know what they're going to do here. Okay, they move that. But they don't have time to save everything. Because we're just going to move the knight here. And already, it's looking pretty bad for them. So, a lot of free tempos. Also, this isn't where you want it. And then, from there, we can do a discovered attack. So... Again, this is pretty... We, we've got the discovered attack set up. So, we'll just castle for now. And, I don't know. Not looking good for them. Yeah, okay, that's... Uh, I guess they give their queen an escape square. But, um... Yeah. Um, let's move... Let's, def let's attack this pawn. Because, yeah, it's defended by the queen. But realistically are they going to want to do that probably not so also this knight can move to here and this yeah this queen is defended by the knight i guess but one thing we can do to be tricky is just move right here and then yeah we got our queen lined up on them the rooks here if they trade i don't care you know in fact the rooks on uh, like a half open uh kind of file here so Okay, they, I thought they would save the queen. The issue for them is, like, now this pawn is undefended. And, I mean, well, let me make sure I'm not blundering anything. Um, Not really, no. I mean, yeah, what, what are they going to do? I mean, you can't just let your queen just sit there and get taken. So, yeah, they got to move back here. But that's awkward because they want the bishop here, obviously, for support. So, and now this knight's pretty close to this king. Um, I'll definitely keep an eye out on this fork right here. So, I don't know where they're going to move. I mean, probably swing over here. That's like the best move they got, really. I mean, yeah, that's um, a move. But it's not really a good one. Um, because we can just defend the knight. And I don't mind moving this pawn. Because if it ever gets taken, the rook is let out. So, uh, there may be a better move here, though. Let me just verify some things. Uh, the bishop moves don't look all pretty bad. Yeah, let's just defend this knight. And, yeah, I don't know what they're going to do. Uh, here, it's really funny. I could push this pawn and basically saying, oh, yeah, you can attack my knight. But, um, have fun with that. Um... Yeah, 
Although, does that blunder the knight? Is the knight defend? No, no, no. What I'm saying is like, yeah, you can take my knight, but the queen is undefended. And now if the queen goes up, let's see if the queen goes up. I guess that would be a good move, yeah. So in that case, let's... Also, this pawn is defended by this bishop. Wow. All right, well, let's relocate the knight, obviously. So let's go... Oh, I need to switch to the game category, too, by the way. Let's just go... Hmm. Hmm. I tell you what, this is what we'll do to counter, right? Let's, let's go here. And what we're effectively saying is, okay, you can take that knight, but I'm going to take your rook, which is a far higher value piece. So, um, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's move right here. And also, I like that it defends this diagonal and stops some shenanigans. So, we're basically forcing them to move the rook. Yeah, we kind of get a free move there. And now we also have control of this diagonal. And so now what I'll do is move the knight right here, where it's defended by the queen. Next move, let me make sure I'm not missing any better moves. Actually, yeah, yeah let's just move here. Next move, the rook's lining up on the queen and the knight. So, yeah, I don't know what they're going to do about that. But, uh, okay. I mean, I guess that's a move. Is it the best move? Probably not. Um, anyway, uh, check. Well, it's not a check, but um, this is pretty bad for them. So, rook onto the queen, and it's lined up with the king. Yeah, that's looking pretty pretty good you can't actually move because the queen is pinned so they better come up with some kind of active threat by that knight that's really problematic otherwise yeah i guess that works temporarily but this is defended by the bishop so free knight um still same situation and yeah looking pretty good for us so all right, bishop block. That doesn't really change the equation. Uh, yeah, let's just move this rook into the game, because why not? Okay, so rook's in the game. King's still right here. Um, they can't really castle either, so pretty interesting. Uh, let's set up a bit of a discovered attack. So let's move this on here. Mm -hmm. And let's see if we can set something up here. They castle that way. Interesting move because, hmm, yeah, let's do this. Let's uh, crash in here with the bishop. Okay. They'll probably take back with the pawn. But this bishop's undefended, so that's interesting. They just kind of let me walk in here. This bishop's still undefended. I mean, I don't really care about this knight. So, yeah, and the seventh rank. And basically what we're saying is, hey, free peace and also... I'm coming in here next move for checkmate. Yeah, so I knew they'd have to deal with that. Um, also, the queen's in here now, so not looking too good for them. I don't know. How did they stop this? I don't know. I, I, I legitimately, I guess that kind of stops it. But, hmm, if I just trade and there's got to be a way. For us to checkmate from here. So let's just try. Let's just try to checkmate. I'm not even sure this is the right move. But let's try. Let's go here for the check. Uh, King can go here. Which I guess is a problem. Oh, smart. Blocking with the bishop. Wow, wow. Yeah, I guess that does kind of salvage the situation. But we just kind of... Um, Mm -hmm. Trade? Well, yeah, we're ahead. Let's trade. <laughs> what am I thinking? So we trade. Uh, I don't know how they capture, but it doesn't matter. Okay, they capture that way. And then let's just uh, bring in this bishop because, uh, yeah, why not? Let's just keep... Oh, no, I forgot to move the queen. That's my bad. That is my bad. I blundered the queen right there from for this pawn. So... Free queen, but we get to... Ooh, they didn't see that one. Ooh, yeah, we are at lower ranking, 
So the fact that they didn't te take the queen there is pretty lucky for us. Uh, we blundered and they didn't see it, so that's pretty lucky. Um, let's just move some knights in and go from there, yeah. Okay, we should be able to wrap this up pretty soon. Um, yeah, that's nice and all, but um, doesn't really do anything. I move here to attack the rook, and they can't attack because, yeah. Uh, yeah, from here, I guess they're defending the checkmate threat, but the problem is I can just move another knight in because why not? So, yep, they're going to have to move that rook at some point here, so... Yeah, and I'm not, not in any hurry. Just, uh, yep, do we just go here? And I don't care about the action over here, because that doesn't really matter. So <clears throat> We're basically forcing the rook to move, you know, or the king, because, well, I guess the king can't move. But, yeah. And also, this check is a fork. So... Wow. So, yeah, I don't know what they do about that. That check is a fork. Um, All right, I guess that's a move. But, um, yeah. Okay. So, pretty interesting match there. Um, Yeah, I, I don't know. Let's play best two out of three, I guess. But in the meantime, I will change the title of this to a uh, chess... Uh, evaluation. So, yeah, very interesting move there. Hmm. Very interesting game. Uh, dashboard. Let's right click and change it to chess. And let's pay attention here. Did I go first? Uh, oh, no, I need to hit rematch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Gage. Um, Durler. Good luck. And again, I don't know if they are still available for the rematch, but if they are, I'm game. If not, that's cool. Not a problem. Not a problem. I probably should game review that one, but uh, again, long story short, don't bring out your queen so early. Uh, that was uh, pretty bad. It kind of just snowballed, you know? All right. Looks like they don't want to rematch. Fine, we'll go with a new 10-minute game. And I'm not like a chess expert. You know, I don't know everything, but um, that's an interesting move. Um, Let's lock up this pawn. I guess the one thing it does do is let out the queen right here, which is interesting. But um, let's go right here. I basically try to undermine that right away. That's what we're saying here. So, yeah. Anyway, best of luck to our opponent. I'm Vio. And yeah, we'll go on from there. I guess I will update the Twitch studio. Let's make sure we're still streaming as well. That's kind of important. It looks like we were good. And where would this knight like to go? Right here. Can't do it. Right here. I guess right here is okay. Let's just bring this knight out. Um... Okay, that's a good square. Um, let's move right here. Mm -hmm -hmm. Actually, I should move right here. Yeah, because that lets out the bishop. Kind of. No, let's move right here, actually. Okay, and, and then finally, we'll move right here. No. Yeah, we do want to let this bishop out eventually. But right now... Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and work on letting it out. We don't want a, them to initiate the tempo. That's why That's why I moved right here. Right here like this. So, And this is kind of an interesting setup. You've got all three pawns controlling that, 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 and that. So a lot of control by our pawns. And we're basically just saying, yeah, okay, what are you going to do about it? You know? How are you going to break through this? I mean, yeah, that's cute and all. But, you know, I'm castling. So... Pretty safe, interesting opening. They're castled. How do you break through? Well, the key here is who cares what happens to these pawns on this side? 
let's just start driving them forward and see what happens, you know. So move number one, we move this pawn because why not? <laughs> you know, so there you go. You just go on from there. Move number two, we'll probably move here and then support that pawn. So, <coughs> by the way, this pawn's always defended. Well, it's not always defended, but it's defended right now because of this rook. So, yeah. Who cares? <laughs> Yeah, so just throwing that out there. Whenever you're castled early and your opponent's castled early, good strategy. How do you break through? And just look over here and just start pushing. If the pawns die, they die. But you basically want to look for chances for your opponent to make mistakes. So, yeah. Okay, so they move right there. I guess they could push and threaten this knight, which is kind of a problem. So, but if I push, they could take, um, we'll move the knight if necessary. Um, but I actually want them to come in, come right here because that would make it easier for me. Um, in the meantime, let's push the spawn. Yeah, we just, you just keep pushing, man. So, yep. Take that. All right. All right. Okay, so there's that pawn. Um, I actually want them to take this pawn. So what I'm going to do is actually retreat the knight. Um, let's make it move right here, which isn't a normal square for it. But here it actually works defensively because, like, all of the action is about to be right here. So... It actually adds a defender and makes me feel a little better about all the trades that are about to happen. So, again, not a typical square for the knight. It's like two over from the starting zone, but here it works, honestly. So, one thing I do have to watch out for is this diagonal. So, if the bishop lines up and the queen, very, very dangerous. But it looks like right now we're all good. So again, that pawn is broken through. Now what we want to do is move forward with this pawn. Why don't we want to just take it? Well, we let the bishop in, so that's a bad move. Let their bishop block their own, let their pawn block their own bishop. You know what I mean? Also, we would let the knight in, potentially. So again, no need to do that. Now see, now with that capture, this is exactly why I wanted it. We can jump this knight in and at the same time have it defended already by the bishop. So, again, weird square for the knight to retreat to, but it's the right choice, you know. So, there you go. All right, next move. Plenty of options here. Taking makes a lot of sense. The only problem is we have a discovered attack. So, this is undefended meaning this knight can move somewhere, and yeah, we have a discovered attack. So what will I do? Well, let's try to be a little tricky here. Let's actually move right here to basically say, hey, you get a quote-unquote free knight, right? But the reality is, is that if they take with their bishop, I'm just going to take the queen, and queens are off the board. So it seems like a free piece, but it's really not. And... Yeah, we just move on from there. So yeah, free piece. Um, the queen is mine. And I don't have to worry about any more shenanigans with the... Basically, I shut down the double attack they were looking at over here. And then, after all has settled down on the dust, we simply take this pawn, because it's a free pawn. So, pretty interesting trading sequence. Could I have done that better? Yeah, could I have not given away the bishop or the knight? Sure. But, you know... I don't care. I mean, what's this rook even doing? Not too much. I guess it can do something immediately, but... Okay, what's being attacked? The bishop? So, what do we do? Uh, move it? Defend? Do whatever. Also, you could just make a obvious counter threat. One good counter threat we could make is putting the rook here. And the best way to do it is actually to move the bishop here. So they kind of help me out there by setting up a move. That I was wanting to do anyway. So, pretty interesting. And then, this rook is undefended. I just want to throw that out there. I mean, for now. They can easily defend it by putting, yeah, that right there. 
But um, yeah, pretty interesting here. I think the obvious move is to trade again. You let the knight in, yeah, but then you get a tempo on the knight and can just kind of kick it away and stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty good for us. Um, and now what you want to do, you can get another tempo on the knight if you want. Um, but I think this knight's undefended, just like ours was. So I think the move here is actually very simple. You attack this. So very simple, very easy, and very effective. So... Yeah. Also, I am looking down here. What happens if we take this pawn? You know, I don't know. But um, that is very enticing, shall I say. Okay, knight moves there. And from here, is there a way for one of these knights to attack the rook? Actually, there is. This one can move right here. I guess the bishop is being attacked. But I was going to move bishop there anyway. So let's move there, and okay, free pawn for them. But more importantly, one rook will be off, meaning also I can get control of this file. So that looks pretty appealing right here. Uh, <laughs> hi, hi there. All right, so that looks pretty appealing. So there we go. Um, I imagine they'll just take this. I don't see why not. Um, and anyway, next move, I'm probably going to connect my rooks and eventually we'll move something right here. So, all right. Um, hmm, yeah, makes sense. Let's just make this move right here. All right, and there we go. All right, on move. Interesting. Let's uh, let's try to do something very subtle here. Let's move right here. Yeah. And what we're doing is we're kind of baiting them into this pawn move. The reason I like that pawn move is for two reasons. It kind of stops this knight from jumping in. So. Will they actually do it? I don't know. If they don't, I mean, I can just line up on this knight and say, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> you know, so <laughs> that's uh, that's a thing. So, yeah. Uh, interesting that they double up rooks and completely ignore this. Um, I guess there is somewhat of a threat here. But out of an abundance of caution, let's just move this knight here. And the well, no, let's move right here and yeah, line up on this. Okay, we've got it. Do, 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 do. I know more about chess, how to play it. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Yeah, good to see you, Kaylene. Nice. <laughs> uh, I guess that's my question. What's your rating? <laughs> I mean, if you are on chess.com, I don't know. You may just kind of like play and then not a... Not interesting move to back that night off. Hmm. That's actually pretty interesting. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Also... Let me go here, and I just realized something. I just realized something. One sec, guys. One sec. I know we're running low on time, but uh, I don't think I changed the game category. <laughs> okay, we've got time. I'm not worried. Also, also, these are getting soggy. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is still on GX. I knew it. I knew it. My bad, guys. Now, I'm not going to change the title and everything, but, um, yeah. CH. <laughs> yeah, I need to change the. Yeah, thanks for coming in. Um, honestly, I think your presence helped to remind me. Oh, wait. I changed from chess, uh, from Yu Gi Oh! to chess. So, yeah, pretty important. 
there. There we go. And I'll just take out the academy and honestly, we might time out, but I don't care. <laughs> and then we go for strategy. Yeah, so we added some tags. Um, should have updated there. All right, let's see if we timed out. If we did, I'm sorry, but um, um, I'm pretty sure I could have drawn this game. Chess is a good game. Eight out of ten. Yeah, I'd give chess a a million out of ten. I think it's the best game ever invented. <laughs> so, yeah, I'd give chess as far as a game. One million out of ten. One million. <laughs> Have I? Yes, I. Yep, as you see back there. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I definitely have. <laughs> All right, how about you? Yeah. <laughs> about you, Kaylee? All good? Um, Let's just ask the question. What's your favorite <clears throat> Yu-Gi-Oh! series and why? Either Yu-Gi-Oh!, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, or Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. You're not allowed to pick Zexel, or... Anything else? <clears throat> yep. Of the hey, that's the correct way to answer. Ask of the three first series, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Five Ds. Which is your favorite, and why? Oh wow, we didn't time out yet. That's shocking. Um, let's just go here. <laughs> yep. Let's just go there and go from there. Nice. <clears throat> So this rook is actually available for taking, which is interesting because uh, it lets us line up on both knights. So that's pretty interesting. So, again, could we have won this game? Eh, probably, you know. But, um, <laughs> you know, pretty low on time here, so I'm not even going to worry about it, really. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. All right, so we just move here. No real threats from this rook, so. Anime fan, yeah, monsters, yeah. Well, oh yeah, I appreciate that. Dual monsters, like the original one, is uh, pretty cool, man, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Um, yeah, we'll just time out here. Do 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 line up on that. That didn't really matter there. So one on time. All good. I was updating the stream and honestly that's important for Twitch. <laughs> like I can't tell you guys how important like being on the right category is the most important thing you can do to help your channel. <laughs> uh yeah, yeah. I, what was my favorite? Um GX. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. If this is a big if. 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 Duel Academy is the best. If you watch season four, you have to watch season four. It is required reading. And that's what makes it the best. The totality of GX. Not uh, not the English. Because the English dub never dubbed season four. So I guess you could watch the dub up to three. If you watch the dub up to three plus four. Pretty kick-ass series, man. That's my favorite. I mean, obviously, you can tell. That's Flame Wingman. Right there. Yeah. On that calendar. A big, uh... Yeah. Flame Wingman, man. Flame Wingman. My favorite hero. Elemental hero. Flame Wingman. All right. Let's play a new 10-minute game. Yeah, I don't know. I have my reasons. Uh, honestly, uh... <laughs> honestly, like, Jaden's just really funny. And by Jaden, I mean like the dub, the dub voice, but also Judai, you know, the in the his character in the sub version is really interesting. Um, and like GX is the most relatable story because think about it, right? You're playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Chances are you're like a school student, and so like G GX is basically just saying, "Oh, hey, you know how you're a school student? What if we make a series?" Where like you're in school all the time and do school stuff and just get into random wacky hijinks and stuff. So uh yeah. It's basically high school the anime, but with card games. 
and monsters and vampires and werewolves. Oh my. Um, any more anime? Everybody ballsy. I grew up in the 90s. You know what I mean? Like, come on. Like, everybody likes Dragon Ball Z. It's kind of hard not to like Dragon Ball Z or know someone who's seen Dragon Ball Z, you know. So, yeah, you know, that's pretty... That's pretty cool. Um, Death Note. Everybody saw Death Note in the 90s. Lights. Pretty... Uh, anyway... Pretty cool anime. Um, am I into any new anime? No. You know why? I simply don't have the time. Oh, okay, that's a lie. I'm into like one new anime, but it's just very, 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 very obscure. And it's one of those like romance, like slice of life anime. You know, it's really just, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Like, uh, yeah, but you know, like, yeah, I grew up, I mean, what about you, Kaylee? What about you? <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's a few more anime I'm into, but um, those are the big ones. I guess this is the checkmate threat, right? Oh, no, checkmate. Whatever will I do? Oh, wait. Let me just move this. Whoops. Alrighty. Well, that was fun. That was fun, Milan, 1995. Doo, doo, doo. They are rated 689. Um, one Piece, ooh. Yeah, one, ooh, man, that's, uh, you are the most amazing person on this planet. You know why? You know what One Piece takes? Dedication. Like, a lot of dedication. So... By the way, don't take this pawn if this ever happens. That's a debate. What you should do, move right here. Yeah, so if they want to take that, that's fine. <clears throat> if you take it, you allow checkmate right here. So that is the debate. So do not take the debate. By the way, this bishop can't uh, run away. The best thing this bishop can actually do is come here and trade for the knight. Not a bad move, honestly. And it does get the rook off of the eight the uh the h file the h row file column, so not too bad of a move honestly. Uh, Naruto a lot, yeah. Like uh, I'm actually playing uh on my well, hang on, let me help you out, uh, Kaylee. On my channel, my YouTube channel, I'm actually playing. Uh, that's an interesting move. I don't know why they did that. I guess to... What? I guess to, like, line up with the queen with the rook. But that's pretty easily defended because all you do is you just slide up here. What a weird move. <laughs> yeah, speaking of Naruto, so let me do you a favor here. I'm actually playing some Naruto on my YouTube channel right now. And I'm going to link you, like, a playlist we're playing right now. You want to check it out. I made a Broly intro for a streamer. Ooh. Wait, what? You mean from like Dragon Ball Super, right? That's pretty cool. Um, I see. Let's just take this way because it actually unlocks the bishop. So pretty good move. Next move. It's going to be some kind of pawn move to make the queen do something. So, well, funny thing is, like, despite me moving the rook, one of the best things for them to do is actually move, like, right here. Find a way into here. Basically, the best move for them is actually to push this pawn, and then, uh, yeah. Okay, so what we'll do here is called a discovered attack. So let's let this pawn out. We're lining up on the queen, and we're basically saying, you better get off this row, or else. So, pretty interesting move there have the rook so activated so early in the game. But, yeah. One thing I should note is they let their bishop out here. And our pieces aren't really developed. That's okay, we're going to start developing them. So, queen's here. I guess this pawn is undefended. So, you know, I noticed that one. So, we'll move here. Have to watch out for some king checks, but not really. 
Uh, all right, let's start getting some tempos on this queen. So, bishop move. <laughs> uh, feedback? Mm, sure. Let me see. Let me just show you this real quick. Pretty cool, honestly. But yeah, we're doing a Let's Play right now of uh, <laughs> Naruto Ninja Storm 2 on my YouTube channel. So, yeah, fun fact by me. Bloodmon 14. And let me just show you guys, yeah. We actually have quite a few episodes already. Might as well leave the link on that. And hey, if you want to check it out, check it out. If you don't, you don't. So, all right. Yeah, a good little reminder. We like anime on this channel. Kind of. Sometimes. I don't know. Where'd the queen move? Ah, I see. Okie dokie. Now, we don't want to move this pawn because it's obviously lined up there. I guess we can attack this queen again. I mean, why not? Uh, let's just move here. Because why not? It's doubly defended. This pawn's doubly defended here on the edge. That is nuts. That is so nuts, bro. Now, I might have missed a good uh, queen attack, but who cares? That is nuts. Look at this. Look at this, man. Look at this field. <laughs> uh, <let's> see. <laughs> <laughs> oh man there we go so yeah that's where we're playing naruto ninja storm so yep there you go uh sure let's pin this why not uh can i have your discord Ooh, i actually don't have one i'm kind of a boomer and uh oh i see that kind of check well interesting thing we can't actually block so this could get real nasty but let's just go here. I think this move is actually fine. Can't take the knight. I guess that is potentially problematic. Wait, how can I stop this? It's saying I can't. Oh, right, <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just move the pawn, silly. And there you go. Hmm. Interesting they got my queen to move up there. I am going to have to focus on this. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so there you go. You can check out some Naruto if you want. I don't know. Uh, IG, I guess Twitter. I don't know. I don't know if you have Twitter, but... Uh, uh, button on 14. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you can send uh, some stuff to my Twitter, I guess. Haha, <laughs> that's cute. I think I wouldn't notice that one. That's a, that's a free... Free bishop right there. Also with check, so just wanted to point that out there. Um, let's see. And with that being said, let's attack the queen again. It's almost like I've done this before. Okay, so we go here. And yeah, this is being attacked. What are you going to do about it? I don't know, but good luck. <laughs> uh, I guess I do. Sh I should watch the time on this one. I really should. So yeah, I'm going to try not to just fold this one on time. So, hmm, I guess that knight was free, yeah. But, you know, it doesn't really matter. What we will do here is take this pawn, because this pawn's free. So, yeah, they're attacking your stuff. Attack their stuff, you know, pretty easy. And these pieces are really undefended. So, I guess my king is too, but... Yeah, whatever. I mean, this queen's almost trapped. Can't go here. Can't go here. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was wondering. I was like, man, what are they going to do about this? Because, like, I mean, yeah, and they can line up on this pawn, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, And let's just block off this entire row, oddly enough, with the bishop. That is pretty crazy. Look at the setup, man. The setup's nuts. Like, you can't go here. You can't go here. You can't go here. You can't go here. You can't move here, it's defended. Like, you can't go here. Uh, that queen's nearly trapped, so... Um, can I drop... I, I will I will after this game here, Kaylee. Uh, I'm pretty close to losing on time, so... Don't want that to happen. Um, let's move... Let's move right here. Nope, here. We got it. And that queen is very quickly 
coming under attack. Pretty interesting. I guess they let the rook out with that, so that's that's a good move, you know, with the knight. So, but uh, yeah, <laughs> what a weird, crazy game. All right, and really in this position, one of the best things I can do is actually attack this knight. So we'll see here. <laughs> Got my follow. Oh, well, thanks, Kaylee. I appreciate it. You don't have to follow, but if you do, I guess it does help a little bit. So, appreciate you. All right, queen move onto the rook. Okay, I knew at some point that would happen. But here's the thing. The rook's defended, so... Okay. I mean, you can take that if you want, but it doesn't really change the math. So... Let's just move, let's move right here and go from there. I mean, yeah, if you take the rook, I take the queen. Pretty simple. So, yeah. I uh, hope we get a filly. Uh, uh, it's probably not going to happen. But, uh, I mean... I guess it's cool if it does. Next move I'm thinking, why didn't I move this pawn? Well, you see, these diagonals are weak. So you just have to keep that in mind. I see. So I guess that is a move. The problem is we can now just go back over here. Now, that kind of blocks off this diagonal. Are there any knight forks? Not really, but the main threat is right here on this pawn. So the best way to defend that threat is actually pretty straightforward. <laughs> we just slide the king right here, and suddenly there's an extra defender on this pawn. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> so, an interesting strategy, but I don't think it's going to work. So, yeah. All right, and they take with the knight. Just trying to open things up. I understand, really. And let me take with the bishop. They'll take the bishop with the queen. Unless they don't see it. They may also take the rook, which is fine, honestly. Does not really affect what I'm about to do. So, but they, they've got options here. So, yes, they do take the rook. All right. And what I'm going to do is create an escape square. So... This check's probably coming. One of the best things we can do about it is go right here and just say, yeah, you can't do that check. So, queen down. Also, next move, I'm pushing this pawn. Okay, and there we go, guys. After how many minutes of streaming? Uh, several minutes of streaming. We have the blunder. And there we go. The queen has been taken, and now we should quickly see the resign button. Oh, no resig resignation, huh? Well, let's just defend this bishop. How do we do that? Well, a couple of ways. Let's create a counterattack and basically just say, hey, I don't care if you do take this. I'm getting a queen. What are you going to do about that? Okay, so they take that, and now we can take this pawn. Very good. All right. Uh, what's up, Claire? Hey, I've messaged you on Discord. Oh, uh, one sec. We're pretty low on time here, 2.22. I got to make sure we don't lose. I can't keep looking unprofessional. I guess that is a pretty good check. Only problem is, uh, yeah, let's just block. We block with the knight, so, yeah. A, a nice move, bro. I guess we kind of pin our own knights. I don't think they have time to jump in here, so... Yeah, let's just uh, attack the rook. So, we also fork the rook with the pawn. So, that's pretty cool. Alright. Knight checks. I guess they're right here. The pawn's defending, so... Don't care. I guess the knight can go here and then here, but again, don't care. Okay, rook moves because rook moves. We take a free pawn. I guess this both defends 
the bishop and grabs a free pawn and puts them in check. Wow, quite a move. So, pretty good. They pin themselves. Okay. And then I ask the question, well, what happens if I just do this and just double line up on the king? I don't know how white stops this. I mean, I guess you slide the rook here. But, uh, yeah, it's not looking good. Not looking good for white. So, I'm just saying. Yeah, the best move is rook here. But even then, you have the discovered attack with my queen. And, you know, I'm no expert, but this is going south real fast. So, all right, they don't even care. And so we just take this with check. Um, very dangerous. Only king move is right here. So, pretty sure this is checkmate. And, yeah, because, the, yeah... And that's the dangerous thing about letting your opponents um, yeah, have two pieces lined up like that. Very powerful. That's what we call a battery. And you saw how we lined up the queen and the bishop there. And, oh, boy, dangerous stuff. So, yeah, let that be a lesson to you. Uh, don't attack with your queen early. And be careful if, like, two attacking pieces are lined up. Because that can get crazy. And you saw even there with all the queen moves. And yeah, I did have to move my king up. We just basically created a safe barrier here. Of like <laughs> a whole slew of pawns. A bishop. Uh, a, uh, a rook. And another rook that's normally not here. But because of all the tempos. Yeah, we had like so many active pieces. I wasn't even worried. So, uh, yeah. Pretty good game. Um, yeah, just be really careful. When you get your pieces lined up. Or like. You saw how they gave us the opportunity to line up our pieces by blocking with the knight. Don't do that either. Like, don't give your opponent the opportunity. Don't step in to giving your opponent an opportunity to create a battery because that's just as bad. You don't want to create. Let your opponent because your opponent may not notice the move, but then if you like block with a piece, and then instead of just sliding out of the way. Your opponent may notice, oh, hey, I can make a battery. <laughs> and then, you know, it just gets really crazy. So, uh, anyways, so that's all I have the advice for that one. Uh, let's take a look on, what do I need to check? My Twitter, Discord? I don't know. Uh, let's check my Twitter because, why not? Ba -ba -ba -ba, Twitter, Discord. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need to update my Discord. It's actually not working today, so, whoops, um, also, let's check Twitter, you know, Twitter's so funny, but, uh, let's see, also, also, first of all, I need to take a bathroom break. Also, 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 let me leave you guys with some commentary. Let's see. All I'm going to do is pull up. I actually have a tab pulled up, and it is shower time, guys. So let us pull up the same comment I literally pinned a little while ago. So um, there we go. And there we go. And there we go. So we do that. We do that. We go here. We go right to the Naruto. Yeah, let's try this link. <laughs> yep, I'll leave you guys with this link. And you should hear some gameplay, but not see some gameplay. Because that's the way the world works. I know, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So let's, let's click this. And then we're going to le let chess be for a second. And we're going to show some Naruto stuff. All right. But in the meantime, I can get some clothes ready. So let's see. All right. I'll be wearing this today.
<laughs> um, appreciate you guys being here, though. Kaylee Nay and um, who was the other person that was here? The other person is. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, uh, Claire. Appreciate you guys being here. Hope you guys had a good day. And with that being said, let's um, post and go. So there we go. And there we go. Howdy. Hi, Kelly. What's going on here? You know? I don't know either. Be right back. <laughs> All right. Got to play a share. Um, mm -hmm. I think after that, oh, um, oh. Um. Weird. Also, to my fan. There we go. Let the fan a break. Okay. Slide this back a bit. Uh, yeah. Hope your day's going pretty well. We're just kind of chilling, chilling like a villain. So let's go. Ah, boss fight. Seems like something good to leave you guys with. So there you go. Okay, now it's a break time. <laughs> All right, so I'll leave you this with you guys, and uh, we'll take a break here in a bit. Oh, I guess I need to rewind it. Good thing I checked. I think I stuck around for that. Right. Um. There we go. There we go. All right. And there we go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh. Gotcha. Gotcha. Ooh. I just realized it's a little past one, so. Maybe time for that master duel thing. Eh, maybe not. I need to think about something here. Hmm. Wait, what? Hmm. <laughs> 
Oh boy. Ugh. Anyways, uh, you know, it's whatever. This ruins my plan. Uh, uh Uh, true. Uh, this guy is a master of poison, which is why we... <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna be laughing about that Itachi line all week, though. <laughs> Who bursts in and barks first. <laughs> Why do I have to deal with these people? Yeah, you know, Sasori, I agree. You know, Sakura is pretty lame, and every time she talks, I just want to mute the TV, you know what I mean? That's pretty unfriendly. <laughs> we haven't seen each other in ages. Uh, all right. Yeah, Chio is familiar with Sasori of the Red Sand. Mm. Huh. I'm not afraid of a retired old woman. <laughs> Can't even touch me. Oh, is so badass, man. As with anything, I'll never know unless I try. Good attitude, Lady Chibio. Good attitude. Empty words. <laughs> oh, man. Some of the lines from the Akatsuki are so epic. Empty words. Are they really? <laughs> Come try me and see. Oh, God. What do you have to say, Sakura? A cheap taunt. I see. Sorcery won't be, you know, baited that easily. You insist on defying me. You leave me no choice. Okay. Let's fight. <gasps> What's happening? So you shed Hiroko. Uh, you mean he's uh, evolving? Dun 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 until just now, Sasori has evolved into this form is better. Isn't it Granny Chio? Uh this guy basically looks like any anime character ever. I mean, he looks like he belongs in a, you know, a harem anime. <laughs> so, yeah, he's evolved from, uh, yeah, that form to this one, so. That's his real shape? Nah, Sakura, that's his real, uh, cape, bruh. That you've seen this form, it's all over for you. Ooh, that's a badass line, Sasori. Hmm. You will be punished for your and your grandmother will be the one to do it. Alright, alright. Now, does Shio know how Sorcery fights, or what's going on here? I don't really remember from the anime, but... Oh, puppets. Ah. Uh, those. Hmm. That's right. The very first puppets you created. Okay, okay, so they are pretty familiar with each other, as far as the fighting styles and stuff. The father and the mother. Um... What do you expect to do with pretty them now? Looking. I know their workings inside out. I'm sure she's learned a few new tricks since you've been apart. As I said before. Yeah, tell them, Lady Chico. I'll never know unless I try. Yeah. <laughs> There's no point in talking anymore. 
Let's get this over with. Damn, I like that line. Let's get this over with. Be careful, Sakura. I might have to use that this in some future The only dangerous thing about him. Uh, true. Uh, this guy is a master of poison, which is why we bought the veggie mentos. Beware of the poison in his tracks. Get even just a little in you, and you are done for. Indeed, that is true. Uh, okay. All right, let's do it, baby. I'll give you despair. Oh man. All of Sultry Lions are golden. I love him. He's probably my favorite Akatsu member. Well, nah, nah, nah. That's Kisame. You know, I'm Flood. Flood and Mon, you know. Definitely, definitely love the water guy. Good drumsticks. Gow wings. Sultry is a close second for sure. Just, just his lines, you know. Not necessarily his character, but his badass lines, man. Uh, no, we're not ready. Uh, so yeah. Definitely take a super veggie bento in this one, uh, because a lot of uh, Saucery's physical attacks can cause poison, but if you negate the poison, this battle's, well, I wouldn't say it's easy, but it's not as hard as it could be, so, anyway, are you ready? Let's see where we're at on time. Alright, let's do it, baby. Sakura versus, oh, Sakura and Lady Chiyo versus... Sorcery of the Red Sand. Uh, shed form. Alright. So, this is gonna be a pretty epic fight, guys. So, wish me luck. <clears throat> we'll do our best. Yep, and you're unable to use your ultimate. Uh, long story short, you basically want to get this guy's health down pretty quickly until you get to the, uh, let's just say the next stage of the fight. Oh yeah. Epic cutscene time, baby. Let's do it, sorcery. Yeah, and he's like all the way at blue health, so this guy's got a ton of health, so just wail on him for a while, you know, do your best. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really have an answer, so. Hmm. Not a big deal. I guess, uh, well, there actually is an answer, but it's not very polite. I'm lazy. That's pretty much it, yeah. You see, Frieza, you're not dealing with your average Twitch streamer anymore. Oh my god, I... Prince Vegeta, that's right, that's right. I have become the legend, that's right. The legend that you fear, the Twitch streamer who doesn't give a shit. The legendary Super Saiyan Twitch streamer. You know what that is, that's just a bunch of dong thrown by you. I don't believe you are a super streamer. Bet you're just jealous of my Super Saiyan swagger. Oh, for fuck's sake. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, yeah. Uh, true answer, lazy. Real answer, super lazy. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. Whatever will I do? I think I'll just deal with the consequences. <laughs> yeah, and in the early stages, keep your chakra up. So now you're going to get to the time events. Pay attention. Epic. Um, yeah, I would actually prefer that they not. Because at this point... I would prefer people not to make custom screams. That way I get questions about custom screams all the time. And that way, I know at least one community of people's coming in here. The people who are just, they're real, like legit. You guys are really just trying to help me. You're just trying to do me a solid. And that's, uh, that's nice. And if I don't get any other community except the, hey, Flood, can I please help you community? That's a good thing. So, we're going to leave the BRB screens off for about like six months, as well as wallpaper, art, 
everything. We're just going to leave everything unprofessional. And then the, hey, I know you're a new streamer. Please take this help community. That'll be like our first community. It'll just be people who, uh, yeah, all they want to do is sincerely help. And all I'm going to say is one word. No. <laughs> Thanks. Right now. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that was really, a, and, and considering how salty I am today about that cell phone, that's like the nicest way I could have said that. <laughs> and I'm really proud of myself for, uh, you know, reeling it in there. All right. Sakura learned to dodge better than uh, Gohan. <laughs> All right. An opening. Almost didn't get that one. <laughs> Somehow made it through that, but now. Didn't think I'd see that one destroyed. I've got no choice. It's time it's for the while. real battle. Since last I used myself. Yeah. No, 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 no. You're, you're cool. You're cool, Kelly. Don't worry. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Wrong day to ask that one. Sorry, it's a, today that's like a trigger question. Or it's almost like a trigger word or phrase. Today it's a trigger question. Huh. You can't summon yourself. <laughs> Welcome to hell. What is this, the what virtual this world? <laughs> from, uh... yeah, no, so. Anyway. Moving on. Um... Alrighty. Yeah. What's up, guys? Floodmon14. Welcome back to more uh, Naruto Ninja Storm 2. In the last episode, yeah, we uh, we got to control team guy, and uh, yeah, we got to uh, yeah take on um what's his name yeah Kisame, uh, with uh, yeah Ten Ten and uh, Neji. This time it's guy Sensei turn as well as with Real Queen. So, all right, wish me luck, guys. This honestly might take a while to load because I did leave this on for a while while I was transferring <laughs> yeah, yeah. the last episode to my computer. There you go. All right, wish me luck. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny how guy didn't recognize him. Win battle. All right, let's hear it, guys. I want to hear it. Say it with me. Oh yeah, oh yeah, my favorite attack in this game. It's so cool. Now, guys, if you didn't know, Kelly, there's this community of uh, um, artists. I use that word very loosely. Who are professionals and do the work they are paid for. By the way, every time I eye dart, I'm being extremely sarcastic. And yeah, so um, these people are pretty well known in the streaming community. Yeah, you know, if you're new to Twitch, hey, welcome to Twitch. Glad to have you aboard. But the truth is, scammers are pretty vibrant. What they do is they hmm, hit you up for an artwork deal. Give you custom artwork. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It's all copied and pasted. It's it's all the same. It's all the same. None of it's unique. It's all copy paste. Give me money. Then after I get the money, I leave and you don't actually get your artwork. So yeah, that's the scam. Um, <clears throat> also, the, the larger scam is for them to take your credit card information and then just uh, go ham, Taro. So, one thing I will say, well, two things. If you are going to pay for artwork on Twitch with just somebody you randomly met, number one, buy a prepaid card and make sure it has enforced overdraw limits to where, like, you know what I mean? Those kind of cards um, you can get from Walmart, right? With, like, it's, it's prepaid, it's, like, load to where you can load and prepay, like, let's say $35. Yeah, load one of those. Make sure you call and enforce all the overdraft limits. <laughs> and then, you know, you know, hey, hey, best case scenario, they're completely legit. And, you know, you get what you paid for. You know, you get your custom emotes. Uh, you get your custom background. You get your custom BRB screen. You get your custom um, Vegeta template. You know, whatever. Best case scenario. Well, you paid for what you paid for, and everybody's happy, right? 
Worst case scenario, they take your, I don't know, $5, and then they can't overdraft anymore. Also, make sure you uh, don't leave your real information on your bank, on your prepaid card. Because, like, if you leave your real address and real yabba dabba do and real phone number. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Yeah, not everyone's the same. That is quite true. That is quite true. Quite true. But uh, here's the problem. The market is saturated. <laughs> the uh, the scammer market is so saturated, it's not even funny. And, I mean, if you are legit, I honestly, like, let's say you went to a college, right? And you got loans. And, like, you actually did the hard work to become an artist. Like, I legit feel for you. Like to become a visual effects artist, like you, you, you have a legit degree. You have, like, I feel sorry for you because the bad apples have removed the. Uh, oh wait, really? Oh yeah, I got you, Kelly. I got you. Yeah, I'll follow you back definitely because you're cool. But like, you know what I mean, Kelly? It only takes one bad apple to spoil the bunch. And that's really what's, yeah, that's the scam is like, uh, yeah, yeah. Now no one trusts anybody in the art community. Well, you can only trust like 5% of the people in the art community, you know, who just go into random streams and stuff because, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's a pretty prevalent problem. So, yeah, so, I mean... Sorry, I kind of kind of went off there. But yeah, don't take offense to it. Um again, you were just trying to help and um yeah. <laughs> What's weird is like we're all aware of the problem. You know, as a streaming as a streamer, you just have to be aware of that problem. And uh yeah, just be careful out here, Kelly. You know, if you stream, which obviously I followed you, so you do. But uh yeah, be careful out here, you know. Some of these people can get you. So, um, I guess I will ask a question. Do, 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 do. Uh, what kind of thing for? Yeah, that's a good question. But yes, yeah, it's... it's actually pretty fast. Look. Look. Yeah, let me pause this again. If you already left, I understand. I was a little. Honestly, well, I don't think I was as harsh as I could have been. <laughs> I feel like I could have been way more mean. So, uh, I did my best, man. But, like, as far as me reeling it in, I think Tim's going to be proud of that one. He just went on lunch break. But, uh, yeah, I think I reeled that in pretty good, Tim. I, I don't know. We're, uh, we're going to see what Tim says. Yeah. Look at the, look at the running with him. Like, like, look how fast he is. I go to about 9.20. Let's just village. Your to get your ultimate jutsu, but you, all you do is press uh, Y three times, then B. I suppose I should have expected no less. Oh yeah, what's up, buddy? You gonna leave or what? Are you a water clone too? I doubt it, but this has been rather enjoyable. But it looks like our times run out. All right, Kisame. Well, whenever you want to go, bro, I'll be in the leaf village. Your. Unfortunately, our final showdown will have to wait. The, did they ever have a final showdown in the anime? I don't think so. Until then, <laughs> <laughs> take care not to die. Man, Kisame sounds so cool here, honestly. Uh, oh, okay, and he's gonna use the mist to yeah, exactly. sneak out. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah. He was a Fairly strong opponent. Indeed, Lee. It looks like you finished too. Yep. Oh. Oh, hi, guys. Good to see you're all right. Neji, Dan Dan, and are like, you all right? The only reason I said what I said is because, hey, not everybody has friends. I mean, it's a sad reality, but, uh, yeah. And in fact, like, some of the people who need artwork. Mm, they're probably the people who, well, the, or they have friends, but they like struggle to really make those, you know, connections. You know, those specific connections in the art. 
was like, yeah. <laughs> like, the only... I'm pretty lucky because, like, obviously, you know, you play Yu-Gi-Oh, you tend to make a lot of art friends. Because, you know, some people just like to draw the cards or whatever, so. But, um, I don't know. If you're streaming, like, COD, or, like, let's say you're streaming Halo, and all your friends are Halo people, I mean, I guess there is Halo artwork with Cortana and um, Master. Well, 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 anyway, let's reel it in here. Um, <laughs> my point is, is like, yeah, it may be hard to find, like, go from like the hardcore FPS category, like COD or I don't know what else shooters popular Apex. I imagine there's a lot of artists that do Apex art, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, if you go from like, I don't know, let's say you want to be the number one chess streamer. Um, not too many people I know who play chess no art well i i mean there always is the exception you know what i mean there's the exception you hey maybe you know a guy who literally knows everything and you know but i think you, you guys get my point like it's hard to find an artist in the chess streaming community yeah it's just like you might have friends but um yeah like you might have friends who yeah you know, so. Oh, nice. Just chatting in Tekken. Ooh, Tekken. <laughs> nice. Yeah, been a while since I played Tekken. It's a fun series, so. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Hey, you guys give uh, Kelly a follow. Uh, Kelly G-U-Z M-A. <laughs> yeah, go to her uh, Twitch over here. Yeah, drop her some follows. Or, yeah, drop her some follows. She's cool. But, uh, yeah. But uh, because I know some people who do, yeah, yeah, exactly, and like that's kind of what my point was is like it's a lot harder for the legit people than it is for. I, I think we're on the same page here. Just like if you're legit, <laughs> if you're a legit artist, like kind of feel for you, honestly. So because it's really, it's not even your fault. You know what I mean. <laughs> That people just kind of kind of came up here and started scamming. It's really just this became a trend, and now like you know. Anyway, basically, ninety percent of your intended customer fan base is like highly suspicious of you, and it's because of the scammers. And you know, again, you got your degree legit. You didn't do anything wrong, but uh, you know. Bad apple, spoiled bunch. Like, we just, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to keep going back to that. Because that's essentially what it is. It's just like, two or three bad apples spoiled the whole bunch. And that's not really fair. But, life isn't fair. So, yeah. Anyway. Let's, uh, go here. <clears throat> we're switching to uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, by the way. I didn't say we're switching, but we're switching. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah. I can connect with one. No. Hmm. Um not today is what I'll say. <laughs> not today is what I'll say. Yeah, I mean that's fair. Affiliated with an organization. Hmm. Okay. All right. So she has like a legit like website I can look at or like business page. That's cool. But um yeah. Not today. I'm I'm not saying no. I'm just saying not right now. At this exact time. At this exact place. So <clears throat> uh, anyway. Uh yeah, it's it's really weird, but uh I actually really like the art community. It's like honestly, those are some of my most like best friends. They're not Yu-Gi-Oh players. They're artists who happen to draw one or two Yu-Gi-Oh characters. And they just yeah. You know, so um also they write their own like short stories, which is pretty cool. So yeah. 
<clears throat> do, 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 do. Let's try to boot. Um, hmm. I'm going to try to boot Master Duel up, but I don't know if uh, it'll cooperate. Well, either way, hey, Kelly, you know, really glad to have you. Yeah, honestly, you're just trying to help. And I appreciate the questions because the questions do need to be asked. Also, sometimes when these questions are asked, it'll get me on a different train of thought, which is good because, like, that's what we're here for is the interaction. Um, one question I will say, actually, you have a channel, so I can take a look at the artwork on your channel. That's probably the best thing I can do is, like, look at your channel, look at the artwork on yours, and then just say, eh, do I want something similar? Maybe. I don't, I don't know. Let's take a look at Kelly's channel here. Hmm. Mm, not too bad. Oh, oh I see. <laughs> yeah, it's got like the spiral in there. And, uh, hmm. All right. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Hmm. That's interesting. Hmm. That could work. That could work. Yeah. And it's not really anything too complicated. It's just kind of like a little swirl there. Not too bad. Not too bad. Do, 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 do. Not bad at all. Hmm. 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 It would have to be Flame Wingman artwork. That's what it would have to be. That one right there? That's probably what it... Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kind of... My brain's turning the gears now. Now, you know what artwork I would love? That I don't have any of. Transformers artwork. You know. Transformers. Like the movie. You know. Autobots. You know. Basically. Uh, their home planet was. Destroyed. And. Um, it's all. You always know. It's going to be a good. Anime plot twist. When. Um, in any anime. It doesn't matter if it's. Uh, uh, you know. Demon Slayer. If it's. Uh, Kill a Kill. If it's. Uh, Attack on Titan. If they ever say, like, oh, man, our home planet was destroyed, you know it's going to be a good plot twist. And number one. And number two, you always know the character who says that is lying. Well, and if they're not lying about the planet's destruction, they're at least lying about how it was destroyed. Case in point, evidence. Let's talk about Planet Vegeta. My son, the planet on me. Yes. You know, you know what I mean? Like, Bardock's gone mad, sir. He says Vegeta, he says Freezer's going to destroy Vegeta. My son, the planet of me. Yes. But, um, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, if anyone ever says that in an anime, they're lying. <laughs> and that is an interesting, you know, plot device, I guess. Uh, could you, oh, okay. Yeah, I'll check out your Discord probably after uh, I end. What time is it? Uh, but yeah, thanks for being here, Kelly. Have a good day. And I'll see you all next time. All right. Fill in. But yeah, we're switching to UGO Master Duel. Um, we go to studio here. I probably will join Kelly's server. I mean, yeah, Kelly seemed pretty cool. And polite. And professional. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Anyway, it is currently 2.06. Ooh. I think I'll end the stream. Oh, wait. I got the premiere at a 2.30. Ooh. So, uh, Discord link? Uh, do we allow links? I don't know. Uh, oh. Okay. Yeah, cool. But, um, let's just ask this. Let's. Do 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 because I don't think we allow links, but maybe <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's been a while since I posted any kind of link, really. Anyway, this is Let's Play Yu Gi Oh! Master Duel. Fine by me. Autobots assemble. <laughs> uh, uh.
one. It has Guzman, so there's no so there's an extra in and an extra one. I think I can remember that. Extra in, extra one, extra mayo, extra ketchup. I didn't. Ah, no, it's okay. I probably should. Uh, well, anyway. <laughs> no, nah, it's cool, Kelly. No worries. So, not to worry. Nah, I just didn't. I just wanted to warn you preemptively, so there's no like timeout from the uh, auto mod. So uh, yeah. Um, mine. Um, I don't rem. Uh, I think it's flood mod fourteen. Did wrong. <laughs> so it's been a while since I uh, messed with Discord there. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, we're booting up. Uh, so we're going to do Duelist Cup today, and what we're going to do is uh, yeah, we're going to do the entire stream, which might only be thirty minutes, but we're going to do it in the voice of Megatron. I am Megatron. No, wait, Megatron's the even one. He's just like, Prime. <laughs> but anyway, Sam, get to the cube. Speaking of cube, uh, I'm sure there's some cubic cards we can, uh, anyway. We're basically going to use this stream as an excuse to uh, bust out a bunch of random Optimus Prime uh, voice. <laughs> voice lines that I remember from the Transformers movie. Oh, wait. Hang on, Sam. Oh, how, how, how was that? How was that? That was good. Okay, okay. Uh, we're filming. All right. Take two. Hang on, Sam. Sam, don't send that. I can't even pretend to do Megatron's voice. But I can at least do Optimus' primes, you know. So, this is Bumblebee, a loyal soldier. Wait, let me craft a decoy roid first. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. All right. And I appreciate you sending me the info, Kelly. Um, If for whatever reason uh, it doesn't let you add me, I will add you as soon as the stream's over. Oh, well, wait. And I already followed you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Yeah, whenever you go live, maybe I'll pop in sometime and say, hey, what's up? You know, so. But yeah, best of luck on your. Yeah, best of luck. Doesn't matter what you're doing. Best of luck. Kelly's cool. Kelly's cool. So, best of luck. And uh, yeah, we'll see you uh, next time. I think Master Duel had some updates, so we might uh, have to wait a little bit for my computer to cooperate. In the meantime, let's think about things. Did I change the category? <laughs> no, I did not. All right. So we can do some stuff in between time. And yeah. Let's go here. Uh -uh. Okay. Well, yeah. Always. What's my. Oh. Uh, pretty sure it's the same. I think I need to make a link to my Discord. Yeah. <laughs> Because the link I had previously is broken for whatever reason. Do, 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 do. Also, 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 just a heads up. And this applies not to Kelly specifically, but like everyone. Yeah, because I do have a YouTube channel. And some of you guys prefer Discord interaction. Here's the thing. Uh, I'm not saying no. I'm just saying, yeah, so... I don't really check Discord that often. And that's really bad. Like, out of all the suggestions given to me, right, I think the best suggestion I've ever been given is check Discord 500 times a day. No, like, literally. Like, you know, that's the best way to, yeah, you just kind of talk to people one-on-one. -on -one. You know, you just kind of go from there. So I'll give you guys that one. That's probably the best suggestion 
I've been given, you know, since I've started streaming new. And I, I'm going to work on it. You know, it's going to take some reprogramming in my brain, like up here. But I'm going to start to try to check Discord as often as I check my, like, Yahoo mail. <laughs> because that's the one I, you know, obsess over. Well, it's the one that I use for jobs, to apply for jobs. So, can't really blame me there. <laughs> but if I would check Discord as obsessively as I check Gmail or Yahoo Mail or AIM. That's right, kids. I still use AIM. Yeah, yeah. And I, and what's funny is I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I still use AOL Instant Messenger. And, and I've had the account for, uh, yep, about that long. So anyway, um, yeah, like that. out of all the suggestions I've gotten, that is the most true one. Is like because yeah on Discord you can like legit make you know legit I don't make friends that easily well new friends I mean I have friends but I don't make I don't I'm very uh, paranoid but one thing I will say is I should at least leave the option open because yeah yeah you never know you never know. So anyway, we got Shin Shin, we got Gores. Uh, let's check the deck. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're getting rid of the Venom stuff. Oh man, because we're building a uh, what are we building today? Oh yeah, Viacroids. <laughs> Auto bots assemble. Okay, did Kelly say anything else in chat? I'm not sure. Um, if you don't, uh, by the way, Kelly, if you're still here, uh, if you don't see me add you uh, today. Then come back to stream tomorrow and like literally demand I add you. And then remind me that I allowed you to demand that I do so. Because yeah, Kelly's cool, man. All right, so let's remove all the Ogdoatic stuff. All the Reptilian stuff. Oh, man, shame we never got to summon Naga and have its effect go off. But that's pretty funny. I guess we'll also remove Snake Rain. And um, yeah, so Venom Shot. <laughs> Yeah, oh, and we never got to activate Venom Swamp either. Wow, with Venomidon out? Man, that's kind of sad, honestly. Oh, well. Um, Bush Fangs, yeah. Rise of Snake Deity, okay. All right, and just like that are... Oh, wait, the Kotals are in here, too, and the Night Sword Serpent, wow. And yeah, we had a lot of cards for that engine. Excuse me. And the Venomidon, that's just a big point blank, you know, red button right there. Let's remove Venomonaga. <laughs> we never even used Lord either. Despite me having Summon Limit over and over and over. Yeah, we never drew the one of. Shocking, right? Uh, let's remove this. And let's remove Venom Serpent. And now we have the good core of the deck. Maybe I should remove Lightning Storm. Hmm. Nah, Pirelli is kind of annoying. Speaking of Pirelli. Like Coil. Nice. Let's throw this in here. Also, also, let's um, yeah, let's craft, <laughs> let's craft some vehicroids. So vehicroids. So let's start talking about this. Uh, what are vehicroids? Well, vehicroids are one of the worst archetypes in the game, <laughs> despite having a plus two. So check this card out. When this card summoned, you can take two Roid monsters in your graveyard, except Express Roid. Add those targets to your hand. <laughs> like, rank 10, Yu-Gi-Oh! made a bunch of jokes about this car drifting. <laughs> so that's pretty funny. But yeah, despite having a free plus one on a normal summon in 2006, mind you. Yeah, one of the worst archetypes in the game. And, you know, let's check out Truck Roid. If destroyed is an opponent's monster by battle... Equip the destroyed monster of this card. Kind of interesting. Does it stop floating? No. But it is pretty interesting. Uh, anyway, we have Rescue Roid. So, and there is a pretty funny OTK you can do that we will try to incorporate into the deck. And then we'll, let's go with Ambulance Roid. Yeah, when a Roid's added, you can special summon it. So there we go. And I think the card will craft. <laughs> yeah, check this out. Wonder Garage. When this set card is destroyed, you can special summon a level 4 machine roid monster from your hand. Also, also, what if I told you 
Vicroids, Vicroids, have access to Pot of Greed on legs. I got this card. Yeah, Supercharged. This card reads, If an opponent monster declares an attack while all the monsters you control are Machine Roid monsters, min one, draw two cards. You know what deck's pretty, pretty bad when they have an in-archetype Pot of Greed? In 2006, 5, 7, and still can't win. That's really bad. This card was never limited, banned, etc. So you know the archetype's really bad when they had access to four Pot of Greeds and Graceful Charity at the same time, and they never could break it break into like even rogue status that's really bad <laughs> anyway let's look at all the related cards so what's funny <laughs> is you see how this says roid you may say hey that's not a vehicle with eyes but uh yeah cards with roid in their name still qualify for supercharge <laughs> so yes there you go speed roid players i just helped out your engine pieces Run three of Supercharge, and be sure to thank your host. Um, your host, Autobots, assemble the Supercharge. No, seriously, though. Seriously, run Supercharge and Speedroids. Thank me later. Um, anyway, and pure Speedroids, by the way. Let's go with Gyroid. Let's go with... Okay, Tri-Dice is pretty good. So, you know, we will go with this. Despite it not being a Roid card. But uh, yeah, that card. Also, if I have Terratop. Oh, I have Takatom War. Wow. Well, that card's also pretty good. And some of the Vehicroids are win. Like Gyroid. So, also, that's not a Necro. That's not a car with eyes. That's a Necromorph. Yeah, even Dark Gyroid applies. But it doesn't apply for Supercharge. Because I've always wondered, why does Supercharge say machine-type roid monsters? <laughs> it's funny. I think they knew about the unintended synergy with Dark Jeroid and Express Roid on Express Roid's release, which is really funny. Konami, for once, didn't, like, drop the ball. So, which is funny, because you could have just ran Dark Jeroid Turbo with Mystical Elf and, like, a lot of Supercharge, and Chaos decks would have loved that. Just more plus twos, but, uh, anyway... Other cards to check out. Jetroid, yeah. At the time this card is selected as an attack target, you can activate a trap card from your hand. Eh, pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, I guess, I mean, most of the time this effect will be negated, but it does let you just play, like, traps from your hand. You know, so, pretty good, honestly. That way you can keep your traps safe from Lightning Storm, Duster, any effect that pops, you know, so. Anyways, this is the main card of the deck. And the main card in the anime, yeah. An attacks bonus monster, gains 500. If attacked, loses 500. So there we go. So there's that. And then there are some machine support cards that I really don't want to ignore. Also, this is a pretty interesting one. UFO Roid Fighter. So you take UFO Roid plus a warrior, and then it becomes the combined attack. Pretty, there were some pretty good power bond OTKs with this, since it is machine. And you can power bond limit removal. It's honestly not bad. Like, this might be, unironically, the best Roid fusion card. So, yeah. Are any of these warriors? Um, hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. It doesn't look like it. Is there a warrior kaiju? That wouldn't really make sense, but yeah. Um, also, let's see. Necroid Synchro. <laughs> yeah, even this is a Roid card. Necroid Synchro. <laughs> oh, good. That is funny. That is pretty funny that this is treated as a Roid card. Yep, it, it's 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 a card. Yep. But it's not a Roid monster, so Express Roid can't retrieve it. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so anyway, all jokes aside, why is this a super rare Oh my goodness. Well, anyway, this is the main idea of the deck, right? Fusion summon one Vehicroid fusion monster from your extra deck using card from your hand or field as materials. If you do, it cannot be destroyed by card effects, and its effects cannot be negated. So I don't want to underestimate this part. This is actually a really good fusion spell, mainly for this second part. 
not that it can't be destroyed by card effects, but the fact that its effects can't be negated. Keep in mind, this card ca that came out in 2006. That's nuts. That's nuts, really. And, you know, it's not like a modern fusion card where it's a future fusion fusion card. But the fact that this card, this is like one of the best uh, alt polys in GOAT format. Or even like shortly after GOAT format. Like this is one of the most, the best like alt poly, alternate polymerization cards in between GOAT format and um, Edison. So it's crazy. It really is. But that just tells you just how bad Via Croids are. The fact that they have this strong of a fusion spell and could still lose. You know, so it's crazy. It really is. Uh, anyway, I'm sure there's a Via Croid pack. So let's um, get some craft material going here. Obviously, we want this in the deck. But let's just save for now. And there is a couple cards that can help support this deck that I want to uh, include. One of them is Revolving Witch Witchyard. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. It's uh, this. Yeah, Clockwork. Yeah, Clockwork Knight. So check this card out. All face up monsters become machine. Machine monsters, you. Yeah, yeah. Also, opponent. Yeah, so pretty good. You can manage this from your grave and discard a card. Okay, I doubt I'll use that effect. I guess it can add Steamroid. But uh, yeah, let's add Clockwork Knight. That's actually a pretty solid card. Let's also add. Um, this card. Yeah, there's some pretty interesting, just generally good support cards for machines. Machina Fortress is pretty good. I think I have Gear Frame too. So, yeah, honestly, that's not too bad of a mini engine. Uh, let's just add two Gear Frame. Yeah. Because you can't add itself. So, and then let's add. Um, Um, hmm. <laughs> Eastkeeper. I mean, hmm. I wait, wait, wait. What about Oil Man? I mean, oh wait, wait. Cause don't I have um? <coughs> I actually do. Yeah. So I have Machine Dupe. What about Oil Man? Oh, I do have two oil man. Nice. Yeah. Let's add a couple oil man. All right. And then let's add um, the third oil man. And then let's add this card, which is very unassuming, but nice. Yeah, because with that, you can like halve something here and then machine dupe it out. <clears throat> Pretty interesting combo. You can haul like gyroid <laughs> and get two more. Um, eh, maybe not on shrink, but it's a good idea. Uh, an oil man, if you don't know, can equip to any machine. And then, yeah, once it's to kill something in battle, draw a card. Honestly, pretty good. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And again, this is a really slow paced deck, but um, that's kind of the point. <laughs> it's not supposed to be good. Limiter removal. All right. There we go. Ooh, this is an ultra. Yeah, I figured. And it's unlimited, so... Mm, don't know about that one. Maybe Power Bond, though. <coughs> it's funny how all of Zane's, like, retrain cards have, um... Have the Power Bond... Bleh, have the Power Bond searchers. But none of Cyrus's cards do. And that's weird, because... Cyrus also used Power Bond. It was kind of his signature uh, fusion card. Eventually, I mean, of course, this was for the main part of the anime, but eventually, yeah, Power Bond was kind of Cyrus's thing, you know. So interesting, really. But uh, yeah, um, <laughs> I guess a really funny tech we can do is do this. <laughs> We can throw in the one of Cyber Dragon and then just craft like Mega Fleet, which would be pretty funny. So, 
Yeah, let's craft the one of Cyber Dragon. I mean, let's put in the one of Cyber Dragon. And then where's Mega Fleet? I'm sure it's here somewhere. Um, also, I could put this in. Yeah, Over Dragon? Probably a good call. Um, Seer? Nah. Core? Nah, okay. Yeah, we'll add a core too. Because that's pretty helpful, honestly. Um, at this point, I'm just wondering, man, why don't I just play Cyber Dragons? Yeah, because look, we can throw in three core, right? And that's another machine dupe target. Um, yeah, I know. Well, anyway, let's throw in Mega Fleet. This is card's pretty good. It's a little too good to ignore. So, yeah, let's throw in Mega Fleet. Um, so, and then, um, yeah, let's just leave it at that. Um, uh, I guess I can throw BLS back in here. All right. Yeah, let's throw BLS back in here. Um, and let's just take out a couple of the speed droid cards for now. Uh, and let's take out that and like one steam. <laughs> there we go. I should probably take steamroid down to, yeah, down to one. Yeah, that way it's an officially a roid deck. Also, I do just want to point out, I've never thought of the synergy, but Fortress is an extra seven for cash. It actually works pretty good, and it's searchable, like really searchable. So, all you cash players, get on that. Also, 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 what's really funny about Clockwork Knight is this card. You would think this card would be a poison to our deck, but it's actually not. The fact that <laughs> the fact that we can make everything machine, yeah, that's kind of a good combo. System down plus. Clockwork Knight. It's actually pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. All right. And finally, it is kind of a Cyrus Truesdale deck. So let's play one of his best cards. So. Yeah. Cyber Summon Blaster. This card's a super. I guess there is an OTK with this card, but wow. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. So let's take out the system down because I'll remember that one. Save that. All right, and let's get to crafting. First thing I got to do to craft, I got to decraft. So we need a super rare, but um, just to unlock the pack. So let's go down to our supers. Um, it's probably going to be some of the new stuff we dust, like some of the. Uh, sorry, all you scare call sc bleh, scare claw players, but it's probably going to be some of that stuff. Also, anything we have more than um, uh, four of, obviously. So, let's take a look at what we've got here. All right, we're just looking. We're just looking. Gold coffer, hell yeah. Um, again, we're just looking. Oh, see, we have four of this, and we can't dust it. God. Oh, some of them are from the legacy, huh? Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I guess all of them are from the legacy pack. Holy crap, that's pretty lucky. Uh, oh, we got three of this. Akino, metal cruncher. Yeah, I doubt I'll ever use this card. Um, maybe it's really good. Let's read it. I guess that is pretty good. Hmm. <laughs> Why don't I just throw this in the deck, actually? Okay. All right, there you go, Metal Cruncher. This is quickly becoming a Machina deck. Holy crap, I didn't realize I had so many Machina cards. Um. <laughs> I mean, this card's really good. But am I ever really going to build generators? I mean, for that matter, am I ever going to summon a Hinokagu Suchi? Because I have the shiny one. So, I don't think I need to. I can't dismantle it? Oh, man. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, I guess... Yeah, I guess let's dust one of these for now. And we'll go from there. Oh, also, I have five Lava Golem. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's completely necessary. Let's dust two of them. Okay, we're getting there, chat. We're getting there. Oh, yeah, remember I was talking about this last stream? It's pretty funny. You know what? Let's throw in one of these just for the Pirelli matchup. Let's throw in one just just for the memes, for the memes, man. All right, there's Exod. Okay. Dark Lucius level eight. Like I'm ever going to use that card. 
Uh, oh, yeah, Venus is nice. I mean, I doubt I'll ever use more than two of this card. So this is honestly a good, you know, trade here. Evil Dragon. I got the Royal, so... Yeah, I don't know. We'll keep it. We'll keep it. Fenix Sagirafried. Ooh, Royal Vasky. Nice. Um, let's just see if we can find one more super. Okay, sorry, Photon Dragon players. Looks like your time is up. Um, Ignite Champion. <laughs> like I'm never going to run that card. All right, we found it. There we go. And what about this? No. I'm just randomly checking. I mean, since we're already here, we might as well see, like, if I have four of something, you know, like we saw earlier. And, yeah, you never know. I could just, like, something we have four of. Uh, Jinzo Ningen, Psycho Shocker. That's for a special stream. Um, this is, was in the starter deck. Uh, this is an interesting starter deck as well. Um, starter deck. Um, starter deck. Um, oh, Gishki Shadow. Oh, wow, I have three of this. That's actually really good. We'll keep those. <laughs> Vanity. Okay, if I really want to, I'll keep this card in mind for Dust because, yeah. Also, Constellar. Okay. Don't get me wrong, this is a good card and everything, but um, am I ever going to build full power Constellars? No. Same for Noble Knight. Like, I guess this is an Ultra or a Royal or whatever. That card, but, uh, you know, yeah. I could dust this, honestly, and not feel bad about it. So, yeah. Uh, reacting. Okay. Reacting content. Silent Whoppy <laughs> is a super. <laughs> that just tells you about the Master Duel economy. This card is so bad. Uh, Noble Knight. Okay, I don't really... Yeah, let's just dust this. I'm never going to build Noble Knights, you know. Sorry, guys. It's just never going to happen. Um... What else? What else? Let's dust some stuff. Nice. Spiritual Beast. I'm never going to build that either. Let's just dust both. Let's just dust. I know Cana Hawk's a really good card, but... Oh, no, 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 no. This gives us 90. Okay, good, good. All right, now we've got some good craft material. Uh, let's see if we see any four ofs, and then we'll get out of the super rare section. I guess I need a rare, too. Um, we need 30 rare. That should be easy to find, though. I'm just taking a good look while we're here in the super rare section. <laughs> Let me house click. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, right. The Rescue Ace stuff. I could dust that. Eh, we'll try to build Rescue Ace. We'll try. We'll give it a try. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, what's this? Claw. All right, right. Um, nice. Yeah, we can dust one core. I mean, why would I need four cores? That's a little hardcore. Eh? Ah, yeah. One person laughed. I know they did. Chunk Anchor, yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, Jow 2. Oh, like I'm going to build Yang Zings. No, no, seriously, though. Great card, but uh, I'm not going to ever build Yang Zings. Who am I kidding? Uh, okay, that's a Dino Search. Might be good. e -blay. Okay. <laughs> Um, we gotta keep this card. Uh, Imperia. Interesting. There are some sprite combos you can do. But I guess that's you know. Us. I don't like to. See. Um. Wow, I have three of this card. That's crazy. Um, Ninja. Oh, I'll. Oh, I do need one shell. You know what? Let's generate another one of this. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, because it never, it doesn't make sense to have just two shell, that, uh, it doesn't gel to keep two shell. Yeah, yeah, see what we did there? All right, um, oh, we have four scape ghost. okay. All right, that's an easy, uh, there we go. <clears throat> okay, so we got 120, holy crap, we have five of this card. Dude, this is exactly the kind of thing I'm talking about. You gotta do your maintenance, man. Yeah, because that, that, that craft material has just been sitting here. Think about all the streams where I start and I'm like, man, I need the craft material. We have five of this card. What the hell? Um, yeah, and it's super rare material too. Also, I mean, pendulums. Let's get real. Am I ever going to build any pendulum deck? Not unless you guys, like, don't know the money. So, just throwing that out there. 
Well, we have five demise and we can't be craft any of them. That's crazy. Um, and again, we have uh, four of this. So, yeah, why not just craft or dismantle? We have six of this. Holy crap. Hello, blue eyes. Um, thank you. So there we go. That was very helpful. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to need three quintet magician in anything I run. So let's at least take this down to two. I understand cash is a thing, but uh, dude. Um, yeah, that's good. That's good for the super rare material. Also, we have four combined slime of Egyptian god. So there we go. 200 super rare material. That's pretty good. Now let's scroll down to the rare section here. And go from there. Oh, we're still in super rare. Wow. So I guess let's take a brief look. See if we see anything with four or more. Okay, no. Oh, well, this has four. Oh, we have four Kals Archfiend. Well, actually five. So we can get rid of two of these. Yeah, see, there we go. All right. Also, Goaty. I mean, to be quite frank, I could dust all my Goaty stuff and not blink an eye. So, yeah, there's that. Um, <laughs> Do I really need three Hydra? No. But it did win us the last stream, so speaking of last stream, I should check on the progress of YouTube. Uh, you, I don't need three armory arm, so let's dust that. All right. Um, what else? Do I really need three of this? No. Um, I have four of this, so say goodbye to one. All right, we're gaming, we're gaming. And then let's, uh, yeah, again, we have four of this. So, yeah, this material has just been sitting here this whole time. And it's just a matter of me doing it. So, also, we have four Prime, you know, subs. Utopia Prime subs. <laughs> and, <laughs> okay, okay. Down to the rare section for real this time. Are we still in super rare? Yes, we are. Wow. Okay, let's briefly check the spells. Most spells I'm going to keep, though. I'm just letting you guys know. Um, it's just a thing, man. Bells are like the best card in the game. So, the best type of card. Four Rainbow Bridge. Okay, maybe they'll move the format to four ofs, like Pokemon. You know, maybe. Um, just to ca call some chaos, you know. Uh, although it wouldn't make sense lore-wise, because like, okay, you know Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, how it's Blue Eyes plus Blue Eyes plus Blue Eyes? If you allowed four, how would that make sense lore-wise? I got an answer. It wouldn't. Uh, all right, so. There we go. Uh, just go down quite a bit. We should be in the trap section now. <laughs> yeah, am I really going to build Nordics? Let's get real. Let's, let, let's, let's dust both of these. Let's... Yeah, let's get real. I'm never going to build Nordics, unless it's for some kind of challenge. So, yeah. Also, all the Scrap Iron Scarecrow. I mean, all you need for Scrap Iron is literally one. You don't want any more or any less. So, we have the Shiny. So, yeah, Rainbow Life. Okay, that's fair. There are some pretty funny things you can do with this card. And the fact that it's legal at all in Master Duel is actually really funny. Um... <clears throat> Okay, here we go. We have seven. Seven of Destined Rivals. See, this is the kind of thing I'm talking about, bro. Where I'm just like, yeah, I'm pretty lazy. Do we're like, I don't know, you're good, Flood. Like, no, dude, look. Look at all this material just sitting here. So, yeah. That's like a lot of extra material right there. Uh, Exos is sure. Let's get real. I'm never building this either. But I will keep two of a uh, body. So, all right. Um... Dark Prime, yeah. I forgot I even had this card. Uh, <laughs> Dark Prime is so bad. It's just like, yeah, let me negate what you're about to do. Oh, yeah, and you know what? I feel so bad about what I negated. Here, have a free card. Feel free to not OTK me now. <laughs> That's essentially what Dark Prime. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we're looking for normal... <laughs> We've got nine of this. Okay, let's just uh, let's just clean house. Um, yeah, there we go. All right, and then um, oh, moisture creature. I actually like this card in um, Duels of the Roses. Pretty cool. Uh, there's Guardian Slime. So 
disband a couple of those. I mean, I, we might as well, while we're here, get like a lot of rare material. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, we've got like six. Okay. Let's just, um, yeah, oops. Let's just, yeah, make it to where we have three of them. Oh, and we have two right here, so let's just manage two more. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, there we go. And we have nine plus cures, so yeah, that's we have 15 of this card. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah, see, guys, I told you I'm lazy. It wasn't just a meme. All right, we've got six of this. Double Disruptor Dragon. I've never seen this card before in my life, but I read the word rocket, so I immediately ignored it. Uh, anyway... Let's see what else we have. Let's just look for something we have like 10 or more of. Ooh, Mobius. Yeah, I like Mobius. Unfortunately, nobody plays traps anymore, so it's kind of lost its luster. So, yeah, here we go. Nine plus light pulsar. <laughs> Yeah, see, yeah, I mean, we have three shinies, so what do I need this for? Yeah, see, this is the kind of thing I'm talking about. Look, also... Uh, Tefnuit, yeah, say goodbye to this. Look at that. All that material. Whoops. Um, back this down to eight. Dude, we have 16 of this? Holy crap, dude. All we need to have left is one. Yeah, see, look at all that rare material. There we go. Hazy flame, more like Drazy lame. Wait, what? Uh, anyway. See you, Cerberus. Uh, Periton. We have seven of this card. So... Let's dismantle until we have three. Very good. And then I think we're good on craft material, honestly. Let's see if we see. Oh, yeah, we have eight of this. Um, Okay, let's get this down to four. All right, there we go. And again, strategist down to it's limited to two. So we might as well just, yep, there you go. All right. And with that being said, I think we're just about done. Obviously, I need to come back in here and get more normal material as well. Which, in fact, let's get some normal material right now. Because it's the one kind of material I didn't get. So some of the cards we want will actually be of that material. Just because I'm being lazy. Okay, here we go. Five of a set. So, yeah. Oh, we have seven. Okay, so let's get that down to four. A lot of normal material. Um, What else? Um, again, I'm just looking for big numbers at this point, like seven, eight plus whatever. Um, yeah, ogre. Wow. Oh, I can't dismantle any. That's odd. Um, Kiryu. I can't dismantle any of those either. That's really odd. Yeah. I guess one Parsheth. Sorry, bro. You're my favorite card. Um, mm -hmm. Bayer Rock Dragon. Yeah. All right. And we'll get the normal material up to like, mm, like 200, and then we'll call it good. Yeah, see, here we go, eight. Okay, and we already have one, so let's leave us with three or two of these. 161. Um, yeah, yeah. sorry, guys. I really should have done this like off screen, but who cares? We're here. Let's do it now. All right. And then, yeah, nine plus. Look at this. Sorry, thank you. All right, there we go, 221, and again, we've got several here, so, all right, we're by Dark Magician, so, there we go, and we're left with, oh, I can dismantle another one, actually, there we go, we're left with four, that's pretty good, nine plus of this, and again, it said Rocket, I don't really care what this card does, let's just dismantle it. Um, <laughs> some org is a normal. Oh yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, look at this. That looks. It's crazy that a card from a starter deck is a normal. But um, yeah, it shows you how bad the original some org is. Uh, all right. So there we go. We're up to four forty one. Honestly, that should be good for a while. Um, yeah. Uh, Master Gig. Oh, we can't dismantle. That's funny. We can't dismantle these either. Huh. Um, well, anyway, I guess no crawler. So we need to leave ourselves with three. And then we are close to some of these down here. So <clears throat> there we go. We found eight of <laughs> Ignite Crusader. 
Oh, uh, yeah. All right, that's fair. All right. And the proudest of them all. All right, with that, we're done. So let's reset the filter. Yeah, now we can craft some stuff. So I don't know which of these unlocks the pack, but let's look at the Viacroid Fusions again. The... Right. Okay, so I think this one will unlock the pack for sure, but it's an Ultra. Any supers? This is the this is one of the main fusions Cyrus goes into. So let's try for it. Steamroid, Droid, Submarine Roid. I think the only one they need to add is Submarine. So let's do it. Let's generate Super Viacroid Jumbo Drill. All right. And yeah, with that, we have unlocked the pack. Let's just go in here and save. I'll put some of these down to like one ofs so I know to take copies of them um, just for now. So there we go. And I'll two more copies of Core. All right. We get it. Save. And let's get our free pack, quote unquote, of Roid Nexus. Yeah, that's what you want. You want some Nexus in your Roid. Nex. Lots and lots of Nex. Ooh, a shiny. But is it really shiny? I don't know. I guess we'll see. But yeah, welcome to the Autobot stream. <laughs> Look at the pack on the cover. Oh, two Ultras. That's incredibly lucky. It's almost like Master Don't wants me to do this. <laughs> Ichirin. Limiter removal. Okay. All right, I see you, Master Duel. I see you. Thanks for the limiter removal. All right. Pretty lucky start. Honestly, I should cut my losses right there. I'm never going to open a pack that good again. Like with two Ultras? And eh, you know. Oh, there's a Super at the end. Nice. Ooh, Direct Velo. I love Directs. Um, Hixer Roid. Wow. This card's actually pretty good. It's uh, one of the retrained Roid cards. So, yeah. Pretty good. From your deck. From your deck. Pretty good. Yeah, so... <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, all right. All right, Mixeroid we got. Um, let's open another one. Wow, two Ultras and a Super. Pretty good start, honestly. And really, we should open like three more packs regardless because we got our money's worth already. Boss Room is interesting. Oh, we got the third Oil Man. See, that's what I'm talking about. Kind of glad I crafted the pack first because... Or I got the pack open first because we didn't even need to craft this card. So we just saved some material. Also, we didn't need to craft another copy of this card. So that's good. All right. Uh, also, a remote tin is pretty good. Um, yeah, let's just... Let's just spend the rest of our gems here, honestly. Like, really? The pulls we've gotten so far are worth it. Um, oh, a shiny. All right. Um, armor Roid. Oh, that's actually, like, out of every super rare available in the set for the Roids, this is probably the best one because you can use Machine Dupe in anything. So that's pretty lucky. Uh, also, Armor Roid's really funny. Yeah, this is one of the first cards that had this. I'll read this. This is pretty unique. If this card's tribute summoning by tributing at least one Roid monster, ooh, you can use Dark Gyroid. Banish all spells and traps on the field. Yeah, uh, I don't know how Roids didn't become good. This effect was around since like 2006. Banishing spells and traps, not destroying them. And you would think an effect like this would be pretty good in a format with, I don't know, Ring of Destruction... Mirror Force, Torrential Tribute, Magic Jammer, Solemn, do I go on? Maybe not good against Solemn, but uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> How come Roids couldn't make this work? I don't know. I guess it is a two tribute, but I mean, there are some good two tributes that... Yeah, and honestly, if you just like... Obviously, you know you have this card in hand, right? What's the strategy? Well, I'm not going to play any back row, which is very telling. But I'm going to wait for your opponent to play yeah, at least three back row, don't attack. Just let them just kind of defend and set up. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to somehow combo, if you have to, get Monster Reborn or whatever. Maybe at least one Roid. And then, yeah, you get the three for one, which is worth it. So, I don't know. I've always liked the Armor Roid. And also, this thing looks like a Gundam. Let's just put that out there. <laughs> and also, Stealth Rod. Look at that. <laughs> so... Again, more spell and trap destruction, which is pretty odd. You wouldn't think of Roid 
uh, you know, uh, via Croyd as like a spell and trap destruction archetype. But there's plenty of it floating around, and I've always felt Armoroid is very underappreciated. So, all right, pairs. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this was Cyrus's like main OTK gimmick in the anime. <laughs> really funny. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, and thank God it says two machine monsters of the same name and not um, two Psychroids. Otherwise. <laughs> Oh, man, that card would have been so bad. Anyway, we've got a super outside the pack. Ooh, Speedroid Ultra Hound. This card's honestly not bad, all things considered. So, all right, Gadget Driver. Ooh, and here's the boss, Barbaroid. The, I might as well read this. We are ultimately going to try to summon this at least once. Five machine-type roid monsters. Oh, man, I can't use Dark Geroid. This card can make a second attack during each battle phase. This card cannot attack. Your opponent directly. After damage calc, if this card attacked an opponent's monster, negate the effects of that monster, including in the graveyard. That's good. This card destroys an opponent's monster by battle. Inflict a thousand burn. Yeah, so don't pay attention to the burn effect. Pay attention to the... Yeah, that part of the effect. Obviously, you want to use Viacroid Connection Zone on this because it has no protection, but... Yeah, pretty good. Anyway, patch <laughs> Yeah, so you see what I mean about the uh, spell trap strategy? So, like, Patchroid can scout out which face down you want to hit. Stealthroid can hit said face down. And if you know said face down will immediately, is like Mirror Force, you can wait for Armoroid. So, yeah, they're actually, wow, Freezing Curses is really good. Are you kidding me? But, uh, yeah, yeah, Roids have a weird, like, hatred for spell and traps that is just never really acknowledged. And, uh, yeah, man, they're actually a pretty good deck, so. Well, not good, but they were good at what they were trying to do, which is scout out and destroy spells and traps. Another Mixer Roid. Okay, and we got another Supercharge. So, honestly, pretty good overall. And now we can really put some Autobots in this deck, so. All right, plenty of Roid cards we got there. Um... Oh, yeah, Mega Fleet. I probably am going to have to craft Mega Fleet. Let's get real. So let's get rid of some Ultra Rare material. It's sad, I know, but we have to get rid of some stuff here. So I might have to get rid of Turbulence. I'm sorry. Do I really need two Vanities? Okay, I can't. Um, I don't know what that card does. Not getting rid of the Christias. Not getting rid of this. Um, What can I get rid of? Ooh, I hate to get rid of this card. Because it's like my spirit card. But all good things must come to an end. Um, also, also, let's throw a unicorn back in here. Uh, right, let's throw a unicorn back in here. Okay. Um, do I dare dusk a rescue cat? I might. I might dust one of them. But not the shiny one. Not this one. But I might dust one. Um, let's see here. Hmm. Morphing Jar? I would hate to do it, but yeah, I'd be willing to do it. Um, hmm. Astral Karibo? No. Yeah, Mole Cricket. Yeah, I hate to do it, but do I really even have any other Naturia cards? Not really, no. <laughs> okay, here we go. And uh, a Ritual card. Okay, so I guess we did pull some new Gishki stuff. But I'm definitely willing to dust any ritual cards, period. Uh, I don't know. She seems pretty good. A monster reborn? Hmm. I don't know. Let's see if we can get away with dusting something else. I'd be willing to dust one of these. No, way. It's cash format. I need to. Um, I hate a Z. <laughs> oh, good. Um, Guardian Chimera. Um... Okay, you know what? As cool as this card is, I'm willing to dust it. Well, dang, that looks such, so badass, though. Maybe I should keep it. If I can flex the royal. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Um, hot red. Uh, let's see. Mm, okay, I can dust one uh, Ching Ying. We've got three of this. We can dust one. We can dust one. That's 
that's honestly not too big of a problem. Um, let's go to a lawsuit. No. Well, I can dust this. I don't want to dust it, but I can. Uh, rather dust Chiak Show. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm, oh, I can dust this, yeah. Banish a win. Yeah, okay, we don't really... I mean, I love Gusto, but, you know, <laughs> also the fact, the fact that this is an Ultra is hilarious. I'm going to keep it for the fact that it's an Ultra, and that's hilarious. Uh, Don Dragster, it's actually a really good card. Kind of want to keep it. What's this? Oh, Ignoble Knight. Perfect. I'm never going to run Noble Arms or... Yeah, that's good. Let's get rid of that. That feels good. A card that I know for sure I won't use. Okay, and with that being said, let's craft Mega Fleet. Because that's really good in this deck. Um, and I guess we did unlock the Cyber Dragon pack. So let's put back a frame. And let's see if we have a free pack. I don't think we do. Oh, we do. Yeah, well. Shows what I know. All right, so we get one free pool from Paralescent Cyber Dragons. So let's do it. I guess some secret packs you get a free and some you... Are you kidding me? An Ultra from a free pool? Considering I just dusted some Ultras. Um, Prime Monarch. Uh, Hertz and... <laughs> oh... Well, isn't that nice? Albo Lenitus, the Abyss Dragon. Ooh, branded stuff. You know what that means, guys. We immediately dust it. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, man. Let's look at what's in this pack. Um, yep, just a bunch of ultras and stuff. Hmm. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Um... Oh, man, for all the hatred I give Branded, how funny would it be if we actually built it on stream? Yeah, one day. That would be pretty funny. Okay, so let's uh, remove some engines here. Let's also add some stuff I removed. Let's let's take out the Kaiju engine. Not an engine I really want to talk, take out with uh, Pirelli running around. Uh, hmm, well, I'll tell you what. Let's take out this one and Jizukiru. Hmm. Now let's take out those two and let's leave us with like four kaiju. Four kaiju. Okay. So let's leave us with yeah, radiant because it's a seven. Seven. You know what? Let's try three. Three and the one of slumber. I think that can work. Really, if we draw two kaijus, we're really unlucky. <laughs> but if we draw two kaiju, slumber's dead. Hmm. Good point. Maybe we should add one. Of this okay all right so there's that um, let's back off maybe I take out the cash engine I don't know yeah oddly enough that seems to be the engine to take out is the cash the cash makes some people scoop so I don't know maybe power bond down to one yeah cuz then we have oh wait what about vehicle connection zone vehicle cuz that's like really important um, and yeah, this. Oh, I didn't pull it. Oh, well, let's craft one of that for sure. Yeah, okay, because so, that's honestly pretty good protection. So, put that in, and then now this does have to be a via croid as well. So, like jumbo drill. Um, I don't think it works on barbaroid or barbaroid. Let's see. Let's just take, right, we got Supercharge, so Supercharge. Let's, yeah, we actually pulled three of Supercharge, so we're definitely playing that. Um, related cards. Okay, so we did pull one Barbaroid, so let's throw that in. That's really like the ace of the deck. Wait, is this, oh, I was getting ready to say, if it's level 12, if it was level 10, I was going to throw in Mound of the Bound Creator, but it's not. Um, okay, and then let's take out one Arise Heart, maybe? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, yeah, let's take out an Arise Heart. Yeah, that works. And then, oh wait, do I even need Chin Chin or one Chin Chin? 
<laughs> Do I even have a level 2 tuner? I guess I can add one. But, um... Ooh, that doesn't sound good. Um... So we got three of those. <laughs> Wonder Garage is actually kind of a joke card. Um... Okay, now we need to add some engine pieces back. I think ultimately I'll remove the oil man engine actually. <laughs> and let's go with four cyber. Yeah, let's go with cyber dragon core, because three of that honestly makes sense. And we might as well throw this in too. <coughs> yeah, uh no no no, not that. But um related cards. Yeah, we might as well throw in repair plant. <laughs> And now this lets you get what a light machine machine. Um, oddly enough, the Roy's aren't really light related, but mm, I think two plants good. Also, you can use emergency. As another name. Yeah, so. Let's add emergency. Actually, two emergency. It cannot be normal summoner set. Okay. So we actually want just one emergency? What card can the search? Hmm. I guess I can. Oh, no, 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 no. Hmm. That cannot be normal summoner set. Hmm. Let's just see related cards, because that's easier. Oh, right. So, I guess the pick would be... Viper Dragon Monster. I guess the pick would actually be Nash Theater. So, that's honestly a pretty good pick. And just because we have a few... Hey, Minnie, what's good? Um, let's add one... Overflow? No, no, no. Let's not add it. Hey there. We are building roids. Uh, yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. So, our plan today is just to duel in the Duelist Cup. And, uh, <laughs> it's so funny. Um, you know this card right here? Or maybe you don't, Minnie. But, uh, yeah. Uh, you know this card? Super Vehicroid Stealth Union? Autobots assemble. <laughs> like, it's so funny. I've never done the Autobots voice on stream, but I just kind of had a random thought today. It's like, hey, what if I do a bunch of, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 wrong roids. So I was just like, hey, what if I do a bunch of, you know, Transformers quotes, Bumblebee, get out here, you know, it just every time we play a card. So pretty fun stream coming up. Uh, hope your day's been going pretty well and uh <laughs> it's, it's just like i think the voice is it's okay it's not deep enough but it's solid enough to pass anyway uh i just realized something this plus a level one tuner equals um ooh, ooh, nice mini um was one of them the prediction princess one you were talking about or um what's up We'll probably want to add a gear frame. Right. All right. See a jet droid. Gear frame. Um, yeah, don't worry, guys. We're playing roids. We're totally not playing Machina Turbo. Um, there we go. And Akatom work with the no searches. Uh, no, unfortunately, I made one. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Nice. All right. Um, what kind of, well, would you like to tell me, this is the fun part, Minnie, would you like to tell me, or would you like to show me, like in a viewer duel, because that could be pretty fun, um, do, do, do. right, do, do, alrighty, system down, <laughs> can't believe I have to craft this card, but here we are. Alrighty. I like to show. Sounds good to me. Um, as soon as I'm done with this deck. In fact, I'm actually not done with this deck. But out of an abundance of 
um, respects, I will quickly do this. So we're going to take out five cards, and then we're going to dual mini. One, um, two, 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 three, <laughs> four, uh, where is it, where is it, four, uh, five. No, we're playing roid cards. Five. One more. Uh, um, five. This card. Okay, there we go. And I do need to add this. Yeah, the synergy with this, and this is actually pretty funny. Um, did I leave any Venom cards in here that I just... Well, do I really want this? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Right. Two more. Let's back off one kaiju. Yeah, that's fine. And then let's back off a... Why don't we have a machine dupe? What am I saying? Let's back off a... Uh... Do I really need this? I guess not. Not anymore. So there we go. And there we go. All right, so we'll make a viewer duel room, and that's the duelist cup deck. So, all right, all righty, mini. Um, let me make a. Oh, what'd you say here? Do 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 do. Mini said. Mm 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 mm. Beep, beep, beep. Both of these are temporary versions. I I see. Yeah yeah. I'm kind of doing the same here, mini. Like um. Obviously, this isn't the Roid deck that is uh, complete, but we're just going to kind of wing it, you know. So, oh, right, Future Fusion. Somebody remind me to craft Future Fusion because that's pretty funny. Um, room ID is uh, 11, 110898. So. There you go. Okay. Bum 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 bum. Do copy that, and I might as well update my stream and put that in there. Uh, all right, all right, Mini. Whenever ready, whenever you are. So nope, we don't want that. We want to change decks. To do 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 do. Do 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 do. Um, wait, what? How doth I change decks? Uh, check deck. I must have clicked check. I did. Okay. Um, the worst of the two. Wait, where is it? Oh, do I have to? Um, I might have to delete a deck here real quick. Hang on. So we deck, we delete. Um, what am I okay with deleting? Uh, yeah, let's delete this. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, let's del let's delete this abomination. All right, and then let's copy this. Because obviously I have to copy it somehow. Copy. All right. Because it wouldn't let me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then. Uh, Change some accessories on here. Doesn't really matter. Um, 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 there we go. And um, um, three main cards. Sure, let's go with that. All right. And this is name. Uh, just to help myself out. This is <laughs> Autobots. Assemble. There we go. <laughs> so that helps me out for future streams. There we go. And okay, I'll be back, Mini. Let's see. Let me go into the room. Room time. All right. And best of luck, Mini, after I change decks to Autobots Assemble. 
I love how all these cash cards are just randomly thrown in here. All right, Mini. Best of luck. Um, if you got time, we'll do best like two out of three. No, wait. You have two decks. That's perfect. We'll do deck test number one. All right. Good luck, Mini. Let's see here. All right. Yep. Always good to see you. Now, I'm really curious. We've dueled Mini several times as a duelist chat. I wonder what kind of strategy Minnie will have today. Hmm. Well, we're going to find out very quickly because Minnie's going first. Hmm. I'm excited. Uh, what do I think it is? Well, a deck Minnie's wanted to build for a long time. Hmm. Could be anything. It could be... Ooh! Uh, pure Crusadia? I see the sleeves. Maybe. All right. Best of luck. I have a plan. I trust you, Mini. Um, Lady Debug. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, there's some cool stuff you can do with that. All right. Add a level three or lower cyber monster. This is Micro Coder. Okay. Hmm. I'm curious here. Let's see. Micro Coder. Hmm. Also, this deck is one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, 42 cards. Hmm. Okay, linking for Code Talker. Um. Hmm. Well, it points to a monster. Hmm. Well, anyway, the effect of um, microcoder will give Cynet optimization to the hand. Isn't that the Cynet like fill spell? Well, we're about to see anyway. Uh, no, it's the continuous. Right, right. I always get this mixed up because this looks like a field spell. Look at this. Look at the art on it. Uh, anyway, this card's pretty good. Stops your opponent from doing stuff with stuff to your code talkers during battle. Also during the main phase, get an. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <clears throat> do, 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 Uh, so this reads... Oh. Hmm. That's odd. That's okay. Um, this gets put on my field. Ebly. Uh, so... I think it says the controller of this card cannot summon, right? 